Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Comprehensive Manga, The Strongest Demon King Beginning from Kawang Academy. Chapter 61, Does Rias Senpei Have Any Troubles? Seeing Rias' appearance, Roy asked directly. Hearing this, Rias smiled and said, No. Junior brother Roy, don't worry. In Rias' eyes, Roy was just a middle-level demon, and of course she wouldn't tell him about it. Seeing that Rias was reluctant to speak, Roy did not continue to ask. Instead, he changed the subject and said, since Rias Senpei doesn't want to talk about it, let's forget about that trouble for the time being. Let's go on a date. Gentleman Roy extended his right hand to Rias and looked at her with a smile. A. Dating. Faced with such a bold invitation from Roy, Rias immediately blushed. No one has ever invited her on a date. After thinking about it, Rias still put her hand in Roy's hand, looked at him with a smile and said, then I'll ask Roy Jr. Seeing this, Roy pulled Rias up. Don't worry, come on. Rias senpei, leave it to me. With that said, Roy hurriedly pulled Rias out of the occult research department. As soon as they went out, two figures appeared in the supernatural research department. Ah, sure enough, only Junior Roy can make Rias happy. Zunai, who was in good shape, looked at the two who were leaving and couldn't help laughing. The Tacheng kitten on the side nodded lightly. It's just a pity that junior brother Roy can't seem to change anything. As if thinking of something, Zunai sighed again. Hearing this, the kitten was silent and did not speak. On the other side, Roy dragged Rias to the lively neighborhood and started shopping. Sure enough, there is no girl who doesn't like shopping, even the devil. Coming here, Rias completely forgot about the engagement. Went for a walk with Roy. Go shopping, taste a variety of delicious snacks, visit the Lantern Festival and more. Their date didn't end until it was very late. On the way back. Brother Roy, thank you very much today. Rias looked at Roy with a smile on her face. Since the date, the smile on her face has not stopped. Today's date is the happiest and most memorable day for her. Haha, ha, no need to thank you, I'm very happy to be dating Rias Senpei. Roy laughed. Brother Roy can call me by my name. Rias blinked playfully. Hearing this, Roy smiled even more and said, Hey, Rias can also call me by my name. Hearing what Roy said, Rias let out a happier cry. Roy. After Roy agreed, he said, If Rias has something to worry about, she just needs to be firm in her own thoughts. Hearing this, Rias was stunned, and immediately smiled. Hey. I know. Then. See Rias tomorrow. Before they knew it, they had reached the entrance of the paranormal research department, and Roy waved his hand. Hem, see you tomorrow. Rias also smiled and waved. Afterwards, Roy opened the teleportation array and disappeared in place. Be firm in your own mind. I see. Seeing Roy disappearing, Rias murmured, and at the same time made some decisions in her heart. Lord Minister, how's your date today? Akino and Kitten suddenly appeared in front of Rias. When asked about the date, Rias blushed. Well, in short, it feels very good. Rias replied perfunctorily, and then walked to the supernatural research department. Akino didn't know where Rias looked like this, but she must be very happy on this date. Ah, the minister must be very happy. This makes me want to date Roy too. Akino joked behind Rias. June. Being teased like this, Rias's dissatisfied voice sounded. However, Zunai was not afraid at all. Ala, la ah, Li Yasi is a person you want to learn exclusive brother Roy it. That was not enough. Facing Zunai's unbridled teasing, Rias had no choice but to speed up her steps. Seeing this, Zunai immediately covered his mouth and chuckled. Here, Roy returned home and thought about it and thought it was time to go back to the underworld. It is also necessary to ask her elder sister Grafia about her own awakening talent, and it is time to arrange things about Rias. Thinking of this, Roy called the girls together and told them about returning to the underworld. When the women heard the words, they immediately began to discuss. Brother Roy, what kind of person is your sister? Miduzi is very curious about Roy's sister. Yes, are you going to see the parents? Ganlu Temple M.I. Lee pointed at the blushing little face, not knowing what to think. The Butterfly Sisters were also a little uneasy, after all, it was the first time they saw Roy's sister. Hee <laughs> hee. 
You don't have to be nervous, although my sister looks serious, she is actually a cold-hearted person. Roy touched Miduzi's little head and said with a smile. Hearing his words, Chana Wei and the others were relieved. As for Seiko and the others, they have already met Grafia, so naturally they won't be very nervous. Then Roy turned on the teleportation array. In the blue light, Roy they disappeared in place. Underworld, the clan of the Lucifergus family. A blue light burst out in the hall, and Roy and the others walked out of it. As soon as they came out, they saw that Grafia was already standing in front of them. Sister, I'm back. Roy looked at his sister with a smile. Welcome home. Grafia gave a cold welcome. Although she didn't show a smile, it was obvious that she was still very happy. By the way, sister, let me introduce you too. Afterwards, Roy introduced the relatives to his sister. Although Grafia met Seiko and the others last time, they hadn't had time to get to know each other. After some introductions, Grafia looked at Seiko in surprise. Last time she saw that Seiko's talent was good, but she didn't expect that in a short period of time, her strength had reached the peak of an intermediate demon. What surprised her even more was that Chanel Wei and several women were all at the peak of the intermediate demon's strength. You must know that the intermediate demon is already the backbone of the underworld, let alone the peak of the intermediate demon. Even among Razel Phoenix's retinue, there are not many middle-level demons. Most of them are still inferior demons, and there is only one superior demon. That is Ubeluna, who is called the Queen of Bombs. How is it, sister, my family is not bad. Roy looked at Grafia with some show-off and said. Hearing this, Grafia nodded and expressed her satisfaction. Afterwards, Grafia arranged a room for the girls to rest, after all, it was very late. And Roy came to her room with her sister, Grafia. Sister, I have something to show you. Holding Grafia's hand, Roy smiled mischievously. It was only in front of his elder sister, Grafia, that Roy would show such a childish side. What is it? Grafia looked at him suspiciously. Look, I saw Roy stretch out his hand, and a rose flower composed of water slowly emerged in his hand. Seeing this, Grafia's eyes narrowed. This is. That's right, this is my awakened demon talent, it's amazing. Roy said very flamboyantly. However, Grafia looked at the ice rose in his hand and did not show a surprised expression. Huh, big sister doesn't seem to be surprised that I can awaken my talent. Well, because your mother has also awakened the ice element talent, it's just. Hearing Grafia's words halfway through, Roy asked curiously, just what? Your mother is the direct descendant of the demon family, one of the 72 demon gods, so she awakened the ice element talent, but your mother's awakened ice element talent is not very strong. Grafia said so. Hearing this, Roy finally understood why Gule Fia was not surprised. It turned out that his ice type talent would not be as strong as his mother's. But, Roy's mouth curled slightly into a smile. Then the huge ice magic power erupted, and the whole room was coated with a thin layer of frost. This was also the reason why Roy deliberately suppressed the magic power, otherwise the entire castle would be frozen in an instant. Grafia felt a little surprised when she felt this ice magic. She hadn't carefully observed Roy's strength just now, after all, he had only broken through the middle-level demon. Unexpectedly, after a closer look, Roy is already the strength of a superior demon. Moreover, she can feel that this ice magic power is very huge. It's getting stronger too fast. Seeing his sister's surprised appearance, Roy couldn't help but smile. By the way, sister, I have something I want to ask you. At this time, Grafia also recovered from her surprise. Speak up if you have anything. You are the heir to the Lucifergus family. Yes, I want to ask my sister to help me to the Grimoires and the Phoenixes. Afterwards, Roy slowly revealed his plan. Roughly speaking, it is to ask Grafia to make a raiding game request to the Grimori family and the Phoenix family. Roy and Razel, whoever wins, becomes Rias betrothed. Well, is it for Miss Rias? It's quite appropriate. Grafia said calmly. Roy smiled when he heard the words, but did not object to his sister's words. I'll go to the Grimoires and the Phoenixes to talk about it, but it's unknown if they'll agree. Thank you sister. Seeing that Grafia agreed, Roy quickly thanked him. He was not worried that the two families would not agree, knowing that the current suzerain of the Grimori family loved Rias very much. 
and her brother, the current demon lord Sezex, loves Rius very much. Before, there was no choice, so Rius got engaged to Razel, who she didn't like. But if there are other options, it can also give the Grimori home a step down. I believe the Grimori family doesn't mind letting Rius choose. The next day, Grafia went to handle Roy's affairs. And Roy brought the girls back to the human world, and he still had to go to school. Perhaps it was because of the fact that Grafia was quick enough, Rius received news from the family at noon. Rius, who returned to the underworld, was a little puzzled when her brother Sir Jax told her that her engagement with Razel had changed. However, when I heard that Roy dared to challenge Razel Phoenix to a rating game for her, I was immediately moved. Thinking of the first date with Roy, she felt sweet in her heart. But then she became worried again, in her eyes Roy was only the strength of an intermediate demon. Moreover, there are not many family members, how could it be possible to win Razel, who was already a high-level demon too early? So she didn't care what her brother said next, just turned on the teleportation array and went back. Back at the Cut King Academy, Rius couldn't wait to come to Roy's classroom. Under the watchful eyes of everyone, Roy was directly pulled away. This move directly stunned the entire class, including the teacher. I never thought that Rius, who is usually a young lady, would do such a thing. Pulled by Rius, Roy didn't speak either. The two came all the way to the Department of Paranormal Research. Rius pulled Roy into the room, and then closed the door with a backhand. Junior Roy, should you explain? Rius pressed Roy's entire body, her big watery eyes staring at him. Well, what do you want me to explain? Roy spread his hands helplessly and pretended not to know anything. Rius was of course dissatisfied with Roy's answer. Humph, of course you started raiding game with Razel Phoenix. Rius said with a puffed face in dissatisfaction. Seeing that Rius has made it clear, Roy is no longer pretending to be stupid. He caught Rius with one hand and then exerted force, the positions of the two flipped over and became Roy's wall against Rius. Ah, Rius was taken aback by Roy's move. Is Rius willing to get engaged to that guy Razel? Of course not, but. Before Rius could finish speaking, Roy interrupted. There's nothing wrong with Rius, doesn't she believe in my strength? Or is it that Rius doesn't like me? Hearing this, Rius blushed suddenly, and it was definitely impossible to say that she didn't like Roy. She had a crush on Roy from the beginning, and her last date had undoubtedly filled her affection level. However, Rius was not fooled by his words. She opened her eyes wide to see Roy's strength, but unfortunately she couldn't see it clearly. How is this going? Generally speaking, only the strength of the same level or above will not be able to see clearly. Is Roy's strength? Rius looked at Roy in disbelief with her mouth wide open. That's right. Rius is now my superior demon strength. Roy smiled slightly. Hearing this, Rius was a little shocked. You must know that when Roy broke through his strength and became an intermediate demon some time ago, Rius was still happy for him. Unexpectedly, after not seeing him for a few days, Roy became a superior demon. In just a few months, it has broken through continuously, from a lower level demon to a higher level demon strength, which is simply a miracle in the underworld. It's no wonder that even she can't see Roy's strength clearly. Thinking of this, Rius's eyes on Roy have changed, like a pervert. Roy was keenly aware of Rius' eyes, and said helplessly, Hey! Rius, what kind of eyes are you looking at? Hearing this, Rius chuckled lightly. But then Rius said with some worry, Although Roy, your strength has reached a high-level demon, but Razel has been a high-level demon for many years, and your family. Having said that, Rius did not continue, but looked at him worriedly. Of course Roy understood what Rius wanted to say. The rating game ranking game is a team battle, so not only the strength of oneself, but also the strength of the family is also very important. Razel Phoenix is immortal and can be reborn from ashes, a very rogue trick. But Roy also awakened the magic of ice, but he wanted to see how powerful Riesel's immortality was. As for the family members, there is no need to worry. Although he does not have a queen yet, both Miduzi and Ganlu Temple Millie have the strength of superior demons. Even if the two of them joined forces to face the Queen of Razel, it would not be a problem to think about it. Not to mention other family members, Roy completely crushed Riesel in terms of quality. So he doesn't have to worry at all. Don't worry. 
Rias, my followers are very strong, I'll take you to see them after school. As for now, let's go on a date. With that said, Roy grabbed Rias's hand and ran. Send. But aren't you still in class, Roy? Although he was looking forward to their date, Rias still reminded him. That kind of thing is easy. Isn't it normal to skip classes, not to mention that they are demons? The two spent the entire afternoon on a sweet date. In the evening, Roy invited Rias, Akino and Kitten to the house as guests. Ah, is this where Roy's junior brother lives? It's really amazing. Akino looked at Roy's castle in amazement. The outside of the castle is retro, but the inside is modern decoration, which looks very warm. Hey, Rias, how about we move in with Roy, too? Akino seemed to like it very much, and then suggested to Rias next to him. Well, it's really good here. Rias nodded, and then the two women looked at Roy together, waiting for his answer. Haha, if you want to come and live here, of course there is no problem. Of course, he wouldn't refuse the three of them to come and live there, but he would rather welcome them. Let's go, let's go in, everyone is waiting to welcome you. With that said, Roy led the three girls into the living room. I saw that Seiko and Chanel Weijong had already prepared the welcome party, and all kinds of fruit and food had already been placed. Welcome Rias, Akino and Kitten Chan. Seiko was the first to welcome. Welcome Rias Senpei, Akino Senpei, and Kitten San. Elsa followed suit. Facing such a warm welcome, Rias, Akino and Kitten were very happy. Then everyone introduced each other, and the whole atmosphere became active. Roy doesn't feel like he has anything to do with him anymore. Hey, is Kitten Chan coming to play? At this time, the lively and active Siri Alice ran to the kitten with the three little lowly in the butterfly house. She shook the two game consoles in her hands and said, This is the latest game console that brother Roy bought me. Want to play? The latest game console. Originally, with the character of the kitten Sanwu, he would not play with the children he just met but can't resist the temptation of the latest game console. In the end, the little pig was pulled by Siri Alice to play. Ah, Roy's house is really lively. Akino looked at who was playing with the kitten, Siri Alice and a few little lowly couldn't help but sigh. For a long time, there were only three of them in the supernatural research department, and compared with this place, it seemed a little deserted. By the way, where did Roy find so many relatives? Obviously there were only a few people last time. Rias was puzzled with a hint of envy. I remember when I was dealing with the lost demon last time, Roy didn't have so many followers, and the strength of the followers was relatively poor. Unexpectedly, Roy would have so many more family members during this meeting, and Rias could see that their strengths were not bad. This made her very envious. After all these years, she only contracted Zunai and Kitten to live there. Hearing Rias's words, Akino looked at Roy very curiously. Ah, this is a secret. Seeing the two looking at him like curious babies, Roy couldn't help laughing, but he didn't tell them. Hearing this, Rias was a little disappointed. But it was relieved immediately, of course, this kind of thing can't be said to others so easily. Seeing this, the corners of Roy's mouth twitched slightly, and then he leaned into Rias's ear and said softly, if Rias becomes my fiancé. I'll tell you. Rias, who was a little disappointed at first, blushed when she heard Roy's words. Faced with this kind of thing, Rias was still very shy. Looking at the shy Rias, Roy only found it amusing. Ah, Roy, if I read it right, you don't have a queen yet. At this time, Zunai said thoughtfully. Well, I really don't have a queen yet. Roy nodded honestly. That's not good. You must know that the queen of Razel Phoenix is Ubaluna known as the Queen of Bombs, and she is very powerful. Quote. Rias on the side heard Akino's words and nodded in agreement. Seeing that Rias nodded, Junai said with a smile, Then, why don't you let me be the Queen of Roy's junior brother? As soon as these words came out, Rias, who was still a little worried, suddenly turned black. Just now she envied Roy for having so many excellent family members. Unexpectedly, in the blink of an eye, he was the only two dependents of his own, and he was about to change jobs. But when she thought that Roy really didn't have a queen, so she couldn't say anything against it, so she had to be silent with a dark face. When Roy saw Rias like this, he couldn't help but laugh. He suppressed a smile and said, this proposal is very good. 
Send. Yes. Yes. Zunai also blinked with a smile on his face. However, if Akino comes to me, poor Rias will cry. Hearing Roy's words, Rias immediately said stubbornly, No way. Really? Ha ha ha. After speaking, Roy was the first to stop laughing. Zhu Nai, who was beside him, also covered his mouth and chuckled. And only then did Rias realize that Akino and Roy were molesting her just now. Jun. Rias exclaimed in dissatisfaction. Off fun Rias reaction. Akino was already laughing on Roy's shoulder. Seeing this, Rias could only sigh helplessly, she really had nothing to do with Akino. Ha ha. Actually, you don't have to worry about me, M.I. Duzi and M.I. Li can also burst out with the strength of superior demons, so the Queen of Bombs is not enough. Roy touched M.I. Duzi's little head and said to the two girls. What? Hearing this, Rias and Zunai both looked at M.I. Duzi and M.I. Li with a surprised expression. They didn't expect the two women to have such strength. Facing the surprised eyes of the two women, M.I. Duzi and M.I. Li were very proud. Husband. The ranking game is scheduled for 10 days. Although I don't know if it will work, I want to invite everyone to train together. This is the only way I can help everyone. Although Rias trusted Roy very much, she couldn't help but want to do something for him, so she invited everyone to train. In the face of Rias' kindness, of course Roy would not refuse. No problem. Then let's go tomorrow. I'll ask for leave from the school. Seeing that he agreed, Rias was very happy. In 10 days, Roy and the others could not make great progress, so it was considered a vacation. Early the next morning, Rias took Roy and the others to her secret training base. The appearance of the crowd in large and small bags makes people feel that they are not there for training, but for play. Wow, kitten sauce is amazing. Siri Alice trotted behind the kitten. It's amazing, it's amazing. X3, and three little ones in the butterfly house. The four little lowly all gathered around the kitten and looked at the kitten admiringly. I saw the kitten carrying a huge package three or four times her height, climbing the mountain without changing her face. Also carrying the package, there are also women such as Seiko, Shaunan, and Chanel Megumi. This is the weight training Rias requested, except for a few little lowly. Even Shizuka and Aisha both nurses have weight, but the weight is easier. However, along the way, Rias was surprised. They didn't appear to be struggling, they even said they were very relaxed. Zunai on the side seemed to have discovered something. Ah, it's funny, they seem to be breathing something special. That's right, it must be some kind of special magic. Rias saw it too. Ha ha, it's not magic, it's just a breathing technique. Roy explained aloud. For things like breathing, Roy didn't call, 417, to hide it. It is precisely because all the women have learned the breathing method, so there is no pressure on this level of physical training. Even Shizuka, who has just learned the breathing method, and Nanrika, are the same. Breathing. X2. Neither of the two women had heard of the existence of breathing techniques, after all, this was an era of magic. It's just an ordinary cultivation method. If you want to learn, I can teach you. Rias and Zunai heard the words and did not refuse, obviously they were very interested in this cultivation method. Soon, everyone came to Rias' secret training base. Wow, so beautiful. Yes, it is. As soon as they came here, Elsa and the others fell in love with this place. It's a huge estate with shady trees, garden peaks and lakes, it's a holiday paradise. Okay, let's start practicing right after entering. Rias greeted. Afterwards, everyone entered the manor together, put down their luggage, and changed into battle clothes. The group came to the training ground in the manor, and the entire training ground was incomparably wide enough for a fierce battle. The basic, magic power has been handed over to you a few days ago, so let's start the actual combat today. Saying that, Roy looked at Zunai and said, Junai, please ask you to be their opponent. No problem. Zunai chuckled, then transformed into a witch costume and flew to the middle of the training ground. Seeing this, Roy turned to Seiko and the other girls with a smile, then who wants to challenge Zunai first? Friendly reminder, Zunai has the strength of a superior demon. As soon as Roy finished speaking, Seiko stood up. I saw Seiko licked her lips and looked at Akino, full of fighting intent, let me be the first to play. Seeing this, Roy shrugged, and he knew Seiko would be the first to play. 
Then let Seiko play first. You too, do your best. With Asia and Shizuka here, you won't be afraid of getting hurt, and if necessary, Rias and I will stop the game. The main reason to say this is to let both of them show their true strength, otherwise there is no point in fighting if they are tied up. Rias frowned, but didn't say anything. Ah, if that's the case, then I'll do my best. Zunai, who was flying in the sky, chuckled softly. Please don't show mercy. Seiko drew his sword and said seriously. The battle is imminent. The next moment Seiko moved first. Breath of thunder is a flash of thunder. I saw Seiko turned into a golden lightning bolt, like thunder that ripped apart the air, and quickly approached Zunai. So fast. Is this the breathing method? Rias on the side was a little shocked by its speed. However, Zunai, who was flying in the air, still had a calm expression. I saw her right hand held high, and then she gave a coquettish drink. Thunder. Boom. With Zunai's coquettish shout, countless thunderbolts fell from the sky, and the target was Seiko. Even at his speed, he was still locked by these lightning bolts. Helpless child can only change. Breath of thunder, one type thunderbolt flash infinitely in. I saw Seiko flashing golden thunder light all over her body, and the next moment she disappeared in place, turning into an electric light that kept dodging the falling thunder in the sky. This move is a sword move developed by my wife Zenitsu, and with Roy's help, Seiko also successfully mastered it. And it's more powerful than what my wife Zenitsu used. In the original book, my wife Shani can only use 8 consecutive hits at most, but Z, with her demon physique, can use it more times in a row. At this time, Seiko turned into a golden flash, constantly revolving around Akino. This kind of speed made Zunai a little overwhelmed. The smile on her face was long gone, replaced by a dignified look. Zunai originally thought that Seiko was just an ordinary intermediate demon strength. It can be defeated easily, but I didn't expect Seiko to be so tricky. And off the field, Siri Alice and a few little lowly have begun to cheer for Seiko. Sister Fangzi is amazing. Sister Seiko, come on. Sister will win. In the field, I saw Seiko constantly dodging the falling thunder in the sky, and at the same time constantly approaching Zunai. Seiko suddenly found that as he approached Zunai, the number of lightning strikes decreased a lot. Is it because the thunder is afraid of hitting you? Seiko secretly slandered, but this was her chance. Breath of Thunder 4 Type Distant Thunder I saw that after the lightning broke out from Seiko's body, it turned into a golden flash and rose into the sky. In an instant, he came to Zunai. The two women looked at each other, but Seiko found that Zunai was not panicking, but instead showed a smile of a successful plan. Ray Bright. Zunai Zhao shouted, and a large amount of thunder and lightning erupted from her. In the blink of an eye, he came to Seiko. Not good. In an instant, Seiko realized that she had been deceived. It turned out that she was approaching Akino just now. The thunder in the sky became much rarer, Zunai did it on purpose. The purpose is to let Seiko get close to her, and then give a powerful blow. In the face of thunder and lightning, the pair did not panic. The demon wings unfolded behind her to suspend her in the air, and then she returned the knife to its sheath, making a gesture of drawing a knife. The thunder light on Seiko disappeared, as if it was all concentrated in his hands. Breath of Thunder, Rachel. This move is an advanced move from Yuko's own swordsmanship. I don't know how many times stronger than Iazen. I saw the sword in Seiko's hands blooming with lightning, as if he was not holding a sword, but lightning. Then the golden light flashed forward, and Zunai's thunder and lightning in front of him were passed by, and the thunder and lightning in the sky disappeared in an instant. Zunai was stunned when she saw this. She had to know that she didn't let out the slightest bit of water. Which blow was her all-out blow just now? Unexpectedly, it was directly broken by Feng Zi. Rias off the field was also shocked, she didn't expect Seiko to have the strength of an intermediate demon. Akino, who fought against the superior demons, is really too powerful. Only Roy knows that although Seiko is powerful, she is still a little short of defeating Akino, who is the Miko of Thunder. If it was an ordinary high-level demon, Seiko would definitely be able to leapfrog the challenge without pressure. But Zunai has a big killer like thunder and lightning. Sure enough, Seiko was out of breath after releasing Rachel. After using the thunderbolt flash many times, and using her strongest move, she no longer has the strength to fight. 
Roy came to the field in a flash and supported Seiko who fell. Tooth is doing well. Roy praised with a smile on his face. Hearing his compliment, Seiko also smiled and then said with some regret, it's a pity that I still lost. Haha, don't worry about that, you're already amazing. Roy gave Seiko a thumbs up. That's right, Dudao classmate is indeed very powerful. If it is of the same strength, it will definitely be me who will lose. There's nothing wrong with what Juno said. If it is the same strength, she may be defeated in an instant. Hearing this, Seiko looked at Akina full of fighting intent. The two women who used thunder and lightning seemed to sympathize with each other at this moment. Okay, Akino and Seiko have a rest first, then. With that said, Roy looked at the kitten beside him and said, Do you want the kitten to give it a try? The opponent is free to pick your mouth. Hearing this, the kitten looked at it for a week and finally chose Miduzi as her opponent. Because the kitten found that only Miduzi did not have a knife, and the rest of the girls had sabers hanging from their waists. The way the cat fights as a chariot has always been to use fists, so she chose Miduzi without a knife. When Roy and Rhea saw this, their expressions were a little weird. It seems that when Roy introduced M.I. Duzi and M.I. Lee just now, the kitten was dragged to play games. He didn't know that M.I. Duzi had superior demon strength. Okay, then it's up to Miduzi against kitten. Having said that, Roy leaned into M.I. Duzi's ear and whispered, M.I. Duzi remember not to use ghost transformation. Aha, uh -huh. Miduzi nodded obediently. Then the two women came on the field and started a hand-to-hand -hand fight. The two petite girls are fighting with fists to the flesh, which makes people feel a little weird. In the end, the cat lost. After all, M.I. Duzi's strength is there, even if he doesn't have the power of ghost transformation, he is much stronger than Kitten. Roy's clan is indeed very powerful. But the rating game is not something that a strong clan can win. Rias said in a sour tone. Roy's family members really made her envious. Huh, is Rias trying to test my strength? Of course, Roy could hear Rias's words, saying that his master's strength is not good. Then try it out. Right on my mind. Rias gave a successful smile. Then the two came to the field. Rias attacked boldly. Roy waved to Rias for her to attack first. Then I'm welcome. After speaking, Rias released red magic all over her body, and the bright red hair behind her kept dancing. Drink. With a coquettish shout, the black and red magic power converged into a crescent moon and shot towards Roy. Rias's magical power of destruction, which claims to be able to destroy anything, is very powerful. However, Roy just dodged easily with a flick to the side. Too slow. Roy spit out a few words lightly. When Rias heard the words, she immediately used the destruction magic to shoot continuously. Rias, your attack is too monotonous. Roy groaned. Indeed, whether it is Rias or Zhu, their attack methods are very monotonous. Zhu Nai's thunder and lightning attacks are all straightforward, and there is no change. There are countless people who use thunder and lightning as a means of attack, such as Analu who ate the thunder fruit in one piece. The tricks developed by it are 30 million volts. Thunderbird, 30 million volts. Thunder Beast, 200 million volts. Thor, Wanlei, Lei Ying and so on. The power of its trick is very powerful. In comparison, the thunderbolt used by Zhu Nai is indeed much inferior. And Rias is the same. Rias, let me teach you how to use magic. Saying that, Roy is no longer dodging, and grabs with one hand in the void. Secret Art Ice Mirror Reflection Seeing that the cold air in his hand was condensed into an ice mirror, Rias's magic bullet of destruction was instantly reflected back. What? Rias did not expect that her destructive magic power would be reflected back, and immediately dodged in embarrassment. But it's not over. Secret technique, frost mystery. I saw Roy use ice to make a gorgeous ice bow, and then he pulled the bow to shoot arrows. When a frost arrow was shot out, it turned into countless arrows instantly enveloped Rias. In the face of this blow, Rias could only use the magic of destruction to block in front of her. However, the frost arrow easily passed through her destructive magic power, but it did not hurt her, but missed her. Secret Art, Wolf Fang. Roy gave a loud shout and raised his hands. I saw a few icebergs suddenly protrude several ice 0.2 mountains around Rias, and it was easy to freeze her. A series of gorgeous attacks shocked the girls. Okay, amazing. Zunai, 
who was beside him, was already stunned. This gorgeous move and terrifying power are completely incomparable to a monotonous lightning strike. But, Rias is all right. Although shocked in Roy's strength, Akino still cares about Rias who is frozen in ice. Haha, <laughs> it's all right. Roy didn't use all his strength at all, Rias should be able to break this level of ice easily. Whoa, the iceberg dozens of meters high on the field slowly cracked open, and Rias, who exuded black and red magic power, came out. Peach, I saw Rias who came out with her arms folded in her arms, and sneezed with trembling all over her body. It seemed that she was frozen. Seeing this, Zunai gave Roy a white look, and quickly took out a dress to put on Rias. Rias, are you alright? Fine. Rias shook her head with trembling all over. Ah, sorry Rias. Roy was a little embarrassed, it seemed that he shot too hard. No way, during this time he developed a lot of unique tricks, and he felt uncomfortable if he didn't throw them out at once. Senior Roy sucks. Kitten also blamed Roy. It's okay, I'm too weak. Rias was a little lost, she didn't expect to be defeated so easily. At the same time, I admire Roy's strength very much. That gorgeous and powerful move is really amazing. After the actual combat training, Rias proposed to take a bath. Roy was alone in the men's bathroom, and there was no way anyone would let him be the only boy here. Next to it is the women's bathroom, not far from each other, Roy can easily hear the hilarious and playful voices of the girls. On the side of the women's bathroom, Rias sat in the pool, staring blankly at the surface of the water, not knowing what she was thinking. What's wrong with you, Rias? Zunai, who was on the side, interrupted her contemplation. You say, how strong is Roy? Rias muttered to herself. Hee hee, I don't know how powerful Roy is, but he will definitely be able to beat Razel Phoenix. Hearing Akina's words, Rias nodded and said, hey, that's right. By then, Rias will be Roy's younger brother's fiancé. Zunai joked again. Hearing this, Rias blushed slightly, but did not refute. On Roy's side, he was bored lying in the pool with his eyes closed. Just then, the door to the bathroom suddenly opened. Roy heard the sound and looked, but saw Zunai walked in. Hey, Akino Senpei, why did you come here? Ah, because Roy is too lonely alone, so I came here. Saying that, Zunai has already leaned over. Seeing this, Roy sighed helplessly. He is not the incompetent male protagonist in light novels. But now is obviously not the time to eat Zunai. So he could only sigh helplessly, but after thinking about it, can't he eat or do something else? Girl's bathroom. Huh, did the kitten see you Akino? Rias was stunned for a moment, and realized that Akino, who had been talking to her just now, was gone. Hmm, I didn't see it. Alice the cat was playing happily with them, so she didn't pay attention to Akino's actions. I saw Juno went out just now. At this time, Seiko suddenly spoke up. Yeah, go out. Hearing this, Rias nodded, but there was a bad feeling in her heart. The next day, Roy taught Rias the three girls breathing as promised. Sister Zunai is good at manipulating thunder and lightning, so the breath of thunder is the best thing to learn, so let Seiko teach you Sister Zunai. Roy gave Seiko the task of teaching Akino. No problem. Seiko readily agreed. After yesterday's battle, the two women have become very good friends. It is perfect for Seiko to teach. Zunai heard the words and had no opinion. If Kitten Chan is good at melee combat, then it's best to learn the breath of the rock, which enhances strength and defense. Hem. Thank you Roy. The kitten thanked me earnestly. For the kitten, her strength has been difficult to improve because she has been suppressing the power belonging to the cat ruff in her body. Now that Roy has brought her a new way to get stronger, Kitten is very happy. Then it's Rias in the end, well, what kind of breathing method is Rias suitable for? Roy thought for a while, not knowing what breathing method was suitable for Rias. Because Rias usually fights with destruction magic. It's up to Rias to choose. After thinking about it, Roy decided to let her choose, and then Roy introduced to her the characteristics of all breathing methods. After listening to Roy's introduction, Rias thought for a while, so what breathing method does Roy use? Hearing this, Roy was stunned for a moment, and then replied, Ah, I use the breath of water. Hearing his words, Rias smiled happily and said, Then I'll also learn how to breathe water. Hearing this, Roy was a little speechless, but he still agreed. 
Afterwards, Seiko was responsible for teaching Junaries breathing, while Roy was responsible for teaching Rias and Kitten. The other women are fighting against each other to cultivate. Just a week has passed. Three days left until the raiding game with Razel Phoenix. This evening, everyone, you must not have a familiar yet. I have already contacted the master of the familiar, and I can go and catch the familiar tonight. Rias tried her best to help everyone become stronger. Familiar. Hearing the word, familiar, Chanel Wei and several women were a little curious. Yes, look. Saying that, Rias stretched out her right hand. Boom. After a burst of smoke in his hand, the little devil appeared with flapping wings. This is my familiar. Rias introduced with a smile. But saw a bang, after a burst of smoke, the little devil turned into a beautiful black-haired girl. Wow. That's awesome. So cute. When the girls of Aisha saw the little devil who had turned into a beautiful girl, they suddenly exclaimed. My familiar is this. Zunai, who was beside him, also summoned his own familiar. This is a little devil, and it doesn't seem to have any special features. This is Xiaobai. The kitten also summoned its own familiar. It's a white little milk cat, it doesn't look like it has any fighting power, and it feels like it's being treated as a pet. For demons, familiars are very important, they can help their masters, and they can also transmit information, track and detect, etc. Rias will introduce the role of the familiar. Then let's go quickly. Aisha can't wait to catch a cute familiar. Hearing this, Rias smiled and said, then everyone, please stand over. After everyone stood up, Rias activated the magic circle, and they disappeared in place the next moment. Underworld, Forest of Familiar. With the appearance of a crimson magic circle, Roy and the girls of Rias walked out of the magic circle. This is the familiar forest, and our familiar was caught here. Rias looked around and introduced them to everyone. Dark red sky, all kinds of strange trees. There were various noises from time to time around, making the atmosphere a little scary. Even Alice, who has always been lively and lovely, didn't dare to run around, but nervously grabbed Roy's clothes. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Forest of Familiar, I will say the legendary master of the familiar. The sudden voice sounded, startling the girls. I saw a thin old man with a backpack standing on a tree beside him, looking down at Roy and the others. Master Familiar. Aisha and the girls looked suspiciously at the thin old man in front of her. That's right. Well, tonight is also the night of the full moon. It's the most suitable for catching familiars. Follow me, no matter what familiar you are, you can catch it. Having said that, the narcissistic master of the familiar even put on a pause. Ling's Roy was speechless. He's an expert on familiars. Zhu Nai introduced to everyone. Roy doesn't think so, the original book seems to have just found a familiar for Aisha. Okay, what kind of familiar do you want? Powerful. Agile. Poisonous. The master of the facilitator danced and introduced various facilitators to everyone. As for his understanding of the facilitators, he was still very confident. Well, I want a cute familiar. Are there any puppy type familiars? What about the butterfly type? It's better to be able to fly. I want. Girls, you put forward the type of demon you want in a word. The demands made are also very much in line with their personalities. Ha ha ha, leave it all to me. Set off. Master Familiar laughed, and then led the crowd to start looking for the familiar. Although a little arrogant and nagging, he is worthy of being called a master of the magician. He knows all kinds of familiars very well, and he knows the places where all kinds of rare familiars often haunt. Along the way, everyone also encountered various familiars, but most of them were very common familiars. The cute type is very weak and doesn't help much. But the stronger ones are very ugly, and the girls are not interested. Just like this one, the demon master brought everyone to a lake and stopped. In this lake, there lives the water spirit Windini. Cough cough. Vindini is about to appear. The sorcerer master pointed to the middle of the lake with excitement. I saw a gentle light flashing somewhere, and a sturdy figure slowly rose from the lake. Drink. A muscular woman turned around and roared, her aura was breathtaking. Really? Roy sighed inwardly, he knew it would be like this. You're lucky, that's Vindini. Familiar master folds his arms and looks like you are very lucky. Amount, 000. 
Butterfly forbearance and several girls can't accept this muscular girl's appearance. Only Elsa said eagerly. Her eyes are very clear. She must be a girl with a beautiful heart. Hey, Aisha, didn't you say you want a cute familiar? Let alone this one. Roy persuaded speechlessly. He didn't want such a muscular girl to appear at home in the future. Alas, what a pity. In the end, Elsa obediently gave up the Wentini. There was no way, so the master magician led the crowd to continue their search. Wait, look where. Master Familiar stopped suddenly and pointed to a branch not far away. Everyone looked in the direction they were pointing, and saw a young blue dragon standing on a branch. Exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. So cute. When Aisha and the girls saw such a cute baby dragon, they immediately fell in love with it. Blue Thunder Dragon is a young dragon that uses blue lightning. If you want to catch it, hurry up, it won't be good when you grow up. The sorcerer turned around and said to the crowd. Looks very good. Rias also thought that this young dragon was very good. Only Roy disliked the blue baby dragon very much, because the baby dragon was a small chromophore in the books. He wouldn't let this young dragon appear at home. At this moment, the young blue dragon on the branch suddenly flew towards them. As he approached Roy, a blue lightning bolt called him. It came just right, the corners of Roy's mouth were slightly upturned, he blocked the lightning with his hand, and slapped his backhand. How could the little baby dragon resist Roy's slap, and in the blink of an eye, it was shot flying to nowhere. Etc, etc. Just as the master demon wanted to stop, the young dragon was shot away. The helpless master master had to explain. Dad Thunder Dragon is generally only interested in pure girls, but this young dragon should like this girl just now. Having said that, the master demon pointed to I. And the male Kang Thunder Dragon hates other male creatures very much, so he will attack this little 423 brother. When the girls heard this, they suddenly realized that the baby dragon just attacked Roy who was closer because he liked Aisha. Unexpectedly, it was slapped by Roy, and it was too late to find it now. Thinking of this, all the girls looked at Roy speechlessly. Ha ha. Don't be sad, Asia. Maybe there will be more cute familiars later. Roy touched Elsa's little head in embarrassment to comfort him. Uh-huh. Aisha didn't even think about what happened just now. Then, the crowd continued to search for the familiar, but still did not find a suitable one. Then that's it for today. It's getting late, Rias decided to come back tomorrow, there are still two days left. The crowd did not object. Then everyone returned to the manor together. Because of the reason that not a single familiar was caught in one night, all the girls were a little disappointed. Roy thought for a while, then turned on the system and took a look. He found that although there was no new world refreshed in the system, but the number of times of crossing was increased by one, and his eyes suddenly lit up. Because in the last traversable world, there was a world of Pokemon. Doesn't this fit the current situation? To say that the world has the most pet familiars, of course, it must be the world of Pokemon. There are countless elves inside, and the upper limit of potential is also very high. The most important thing is that there are many cute pixies. It was decided that tomorrow I would take them to the world of Pokemon to catch the familiar. Thinking of this, Roy smiled mysteriously at the girls. Everyone, rest well. Tomorrow I will take everyone to a location to catch the familiar, and make sure that everyone can catch their favorite familiar. Really, of course it's true. Faced with the women's questions, Roy answered without hesitation. By the way, is there really such a place? Rias was a little puzzled, to know that the forest of familiar was recognized as the place with the most familiar in the underworld. To catch a familiar, what could be better than the forest of the familiar? Haha, <laughs> don't worry. Absolutely, and you can grab a mouth too, Rias. Send. Can we catch it too? Rias was stunned. Of course. The three daughters of Rias already have familiars, but the elf and Pokemon can be caught without a contract. Afterwards, the girls went to rest in anticipation. The next day, Roy greeted Rias next to him. Good morning Roy. Well, oh, trope good morning Rias. So are you all ready? In the manor hall, Roy looked at the girls and asked. Early in the morning, Roy instructed the girls to bring some necessary supplies, because this time he was here to catch the elf, and he would definitely be camping in the wild. Camping tools can be bought from the elf world, but some cannot be bought and you have to bring your own. No problem. 
The girls agreed in unison. By the way, Rias looks very good today. Is it because of the night attack last night? Akino smiled at Rias beside him. The words directly pointed out what happened to Rias last night. Not at all. When this matter was mentioned, Rias blushed slightly. Akino looked at Rias who blushed with interest. Ah, ah, it's so interesting. It seems that I have to go to night attack Roy's apprentice tonight too. Zunai covered his mouth and chuckled. No, absolutely not. Rias said solemnly with her hands on her hips. Ah. Seeing Rias' serious look, Junai couldn't help laughing. Okay, Rias, Akino, are you ready? Seeing that the two girls were still frolicking, Roy reminded. Ready. The two women looked at each other and replied at the same time. Then let's go. Saying that, Roy's mouth curled slightly and he clicked his fingers. The next moment, a white light enveloped them, and everyone disappeared in place. The world of Pokemon. In a dense forest, the light flashed away, and Roy and his party appeared here. Huh, where is it? It's completely different from the underworld. Could this be the human world? As soon as they appeared here, Rias and the girls looked around curiously. Haha, this is not the underworld, nor the human world, this is the world of elves. Roy briefly explained, and then continued, now let's go to town to buy some things, and then go catch the elves. Hearing this, the women certainly had no opinion. Rias and Akino were very confused about this, but they didn't say it. The group then followed the road to the town. Hey, come on kitten sauce, there's a caterpillar here. At this time, Alice took the three little lowly in the butterfly house and found a caterpillar in the grass next to her, and hurriedly called the kitten to see it together. The kitten was taken over to look at it and immediately showed a look of disgust, so disgusting. Several other women also looked over curiously. This caterpillar is so big. Seven dollars. It's so fat, I don't know if I can eat it. Several women were curiously discussing the caterpillar. Roy couldn't help but twitch at the corners of his mouth after hearing this, and actually wanted to eat caterpillars. When he saw it, it was Shizuka who said it. It seems that Shizuka is a little obsessed with learning cooking recently, and wants to cook everything. He looked at the terrified caterpillar that was surrounded by all the girls. Roy suddenly thought of something, and his eyes lit up. By the way, Shinobu, Kanai Megumi, do you want to subdue it and become a familiar? Deliver. Xiao Ren and Kanai Wei suddenly exclaimed when they heard his words. No, absolutely not. X2. The two women shook their heads firmly. Really, don't you? Their evolved form is very beautiful. Roy looked at the two girls and laughed. Hearing this, the two women shook their heads like a rattle. Look over there. Roy pointed to the flowers behind the big tree beside him. The girls looked in the direction she pointed. I saw a few huge butterflies dancing in the flowers, which is the evolutionary shape of the green caterpillar, bought a butterfly. Its body is dark blue purple, with huge white wings with black veins growing behind it. Unlike real insects, the bat tail has only four legs and is pink blue. The whole thing looks very beautiful, and it's a little bit cute. Wow, what a beautiful butterfly. So cute. I really want to catch one. When the girls saw Badi die, they were immediately attracted by her beautiful figure. Seeing the performance of the girls, Roy couldn't help but smile and said, Ah, the butterflies over there are beautiful. Well, I decided to catch it as a familiar. Sister, what do you think? Butterfly Shinobu was very satisfied with this kind of butterfly, and then asked Chanel Megumi next to him. Yes, I really like these butterflies too. Chana Wei looked at the dancing body die, and her eyes were full of love. Haha, ha. if I said that the butterflies over there evolved from caterpillars, would you still like them? Roy looked at the two girls and said jokingly. Eh. Hearing his words, not only Xiao Ren and Kanai Wei, but the other girls were all stunned. Such a beautiful butterfly actually evolved from a caterpillar, and the girls were a little bit in disbelief, but they didn't question his words. Chana Wei and Butterfly Ninja looked at the caterpillars that were constantly wriggling aside. Is it really necessary to catch caterpillars as pets? Ha <laughs> ha. Although it is better to cultivate familiars from an early age, but there is no way, you should catch the butterflies over there. Seeing the tangled faces of the two women, Roy was not teasing them. Butterfly Shinobu and Chanahui heard his words and were immediately relieved. The two girls are afraid that Roy will let them catch caterpillars as familiars. So, 
How do you subdue these butterflies like this? Butterfly Shinobi looked at Roy and asked him patiently. It's easy, just beat them. Beat them. These butterflies don't look great. Ha ha. Don't underestimate these butterflies. The name of these butterflies is called Ba.A, and they are elves of the insect and flight types. Its own skills such as paralysis powder, poison powder, sleep powder, etc., are very good auxiliary skills. If you cultivate it well, even a superior demon will be accidentally recruited. Roy briefly introduced Ba.A to the girls. Ba Di Dai is not a very powerful elf, but it is also good to cultivate. Rias, Akino, and Kitten Sanmayan were all a little surprised, knowing that their use was only functional. It can't be used for fighting at all. I didn't expect such a beautiful butterfly to be able to deal with a superior demon. This made them also very interested in elves. After hearing his introduction, Butterfly Ninja and Chana Wei were also gearing up. Then the two women shot together. The rank of these Ba Dadie is not high, but nearly 10 Ba Dadie were beaten to the ground by the two women in an instant. Then you will each choose a contract to become a familiar. Roy laughed aside. Hearing this, Butterfly Shinobu and Chana Megumi picked it up. In the end, the two women selected two of the most potential Ba Butterfly contracts. Since these Ba Dadi were defeated by the two women, the contract went very smoothly. Brother Roy, I want a butterfly too. Alice ran over and pulled the corner of Roy's clothes, pointing to Barty who was lying on the ground. At the same time, the other girls were also moved. In fact, let alone them, even Juneli is wanted to catch one. After all, there are not many familiars who are so beautiful and powerful in the underworld. Haha, ha, don't worry Alice, there are many beautiful and powerful fairies here. Roy smiled and touched Alice's little head. Hearing his words, the girls also gave up the idea of catching one. Then, the group came to the town. Really new town. What Roy didn't expect was that this is the town where the protagonist Ash is located. But he didn't care that much. With a few girls, I started shopping and shopping. As for the money, it comes from selling some magic items. The cultures of the two worlds are very different, so he can sell any magic item at a sky-high price. Roy took the girls around for a day and bought almost everything he needed. Of course, the most important thing is the Pokédex. This kind of elf picture book records almost all the elf, and the location where the elf appears is also marked. This way they can target the elf in a targeted manner. Then Roy and his party set off from Junshin Town, preparing to camp in the wild wilderness area at night, looking for suitable elf by the way. Came to a flat grass, next to a small river. Roy immediately decided to set up camp here. Then he arranged for Aisha Khan and the other girls to find some ingredients, while he set up a tent with Yuriko, Nan Lixiong and the girls. After they set up the tent, Seiko and the others have returned. But Roy found out that Elsa was holding a Pikachu in her arms. Huh, where did the elf in your arms come from, Aisha? Roy asked suspiciously. It was when I was picking fruit over there. And it was injured. Elsa touched Pikachu with a happy face and explained. So cute. Sister Elsa, I want to touch it too. Alice wanted to touch her when she saw such a beautiful and cute one. Seeing this, Elsa hands Pikachu to Alice. Elsa, sister, what's its name? Alice touched Pikachu and asked. This. Hee hee, let me tell you. Its name is Pikachu. With that said, Roy took out the elf Pokedex and scanned Pikachu, then handed it to Asia. The other girls on the side also came over to watch. Pikachu is the most representative elf among Pokemon. Its cute appearance is very popular with girls. And its strength is not weak. In the original book, Ash is relying on a Pikachu to get through all kinds of difficulties. When the girls saw Pikachu's information, they were immediately heartbroken. Read it. Since it was discovered by Aisha and rescued by Aisha, then Aisha should be adopted as a familiar. Hearing Roy's arrangement, the girls had no objection. Then Elsa signed a contract with Pikachu directly. It seemed that their luck was good, three of them caught a satisfactory familiar on the first day of their arrival. At this moment, Shizuka and Akinogi, who were looking for ingredients on the other side, also returned. Who? It's so heavy. Shizuka put down the bag in her hand and wiped the sweat from her forehead. Hey, Shizuka, what did you bring back, is it so heavy? Hey, I found something good. Look at it. 
Shizuka laughed proudly and then opened her backpack. I saw several washbasin sized eggs in the backpack. Wow, Shizuka where did you find these eggs? Saya looked at the egg in the bag in surprise. Hey, it's over there. Wait, these eggs. Looking at these eggs, Roy felt a little familiar, and hurriedly took out the elf picture book and scanned it. It's actually an egg from Auspicious Eggs. Then it means that there are auspicious eggs nearby, and Roy is instantly delighted when he thinks of it. Geely, egg. Shizuka tilted her head and looked at Roy in confusion. Yes, it's Geely egg, a very rare wild Pokemon. Roy explained. The number of auspicious eggs that survive is very small, and it is said that those who catch auspicious eggs will be brought to happiness. Geely eggs can lay several eggs a day. These eggs are not only nutritious, but also seem to be very delicious. Even people who have no appetite will eat it in one bite. And laying a nutritious egg can also heal wounds. In order to get nutrient-rich eggs, there are many people who want to catch it, but it is almost never seen. Unexpectedly, she was met by Shizuka. Shizuka, take me to find the location of the egg, your familiar has been settled. Really? Shizuka was a little surprised to hear that. Then take Roy to find the egg's location. However, here, but did not find the figure of auspicious eggs. It seems that Geely egg hasn't come back, or gone out for some reason. Then Roy took Shizuka and the girls to look around. Unexpectedly, they were found. In a bush, an auspicious egg fell in a pool of blood, and it had several scratches on its body. It seems to be attacked by other elves. The world of the elf is not as peaceful as it seems in the animation. After a history of indiscriminate hunting by humans for the eggs in its belly. The number of auspicious eggs has become very rare. And other elves will also use eggs as their prey targets, which is the main reason for the scarcity of wild auspicious eggs. Shizuka, hurry up and help it heal. Roy said to Shizuka beside him. Oh well. Hearing this, Shizuka hurriedly stepped forward to help Geely egg treat. During this time, Shizuka's healing magic has progressed very fast, and the effect of treating trauma such as auspicious eggs is very good. After a while, Geely Egg woke up. Lucky, lucky. The cry of the auspicious egg is very cute. It looks at the person who is treating her in front of her, and makes a few soft voices in its eyes. After Geely Egg's injury was completely healed, Geely Egg called out to Shizuka anxiously. At the same time, he waved his hands very eagerly. Is it okay? Shizuka saw that Geely Egg's appearance was a little unclear, so she turned to look at Roy. Well, it should be targeted by other elves, and it should be very anxious about the egg just now. Roy stroked his chin to guess. This auspicious egg was supposed to protect its own egg, so it led away the elf who attacked it. Lucky, lucky, lucky. When Geely Egg heard his words, the cry became even more urgent. In short, let's take it back first. Then give it back the egg. Maybe he understood what Roy said. When he and Shizuka and the girls were about to leave, Geely Egg took the initiative to follow. Then the group added a lucky egg and returned to the camping place together. Shizuka returned the egg she brought back to Geely Egg. Lucky, lucky. Looking at the three eggs in front of Geely Egg, she immediately cried out with joy. Eyes full of maternal brilliance. Aren't these eggs just ordinary eggs? Roy had some guesses in his heart, if it was an ordinary egg, Geely Egg shouldn't be so nervous. Unless these eggs are the children of the auspicious eggs. If that's the case, then make a lot of money. The rare elf like auspicious eggs, Roy is not too much. It took a while for auspicious eggs to recover from the surprise. He then bowed politely to Shizuka, the savior. Quick, Shizuka hurry up and ask if it's the reason for your familiar. Roy reminded appropriately. Ala. Shizuka was stunned for a moment, and then Geely, who suddenly realized, asked Dan, Geely, would you like to be my familiar? Lucky lucky. Geely Egg tilted his head and screamed a few times, although he didn't know what Shizuka said. But it knows the human being in front of it and wants to conquer it. Geely Egg thought about it and nodded. After all, the human being in front of him not only saved it, but also its children. Anyway, it has to be agreed. Seeing Geely Egg nodded, Shizuka laughed stupidly. Don't stand stupidly, hurry up and make a contract. Seeing Shizuka's silly appearance, Roy couldn't help but patted her on the head. Hee hee. Shizuka stuck out her tongue naively, and then started the contract. 
I'm so envious, Sister Shizuka has also found such a powerful familiar. This elf is indeed very suitable for Shizuka. And Gili Egg is also a very powerful elf. Nan Lixiong checked the elf picture book, and when he saw the introduction, he was immediately envious. Really? Sataka, show me too. Although Shizuka likes Gili Eggs very much, she doesn't know much about Gili Eggs. Wow, there will be eggs. Now you don't have to worry about the ingredients. Looking at the various introductions of Gili Egg, Shizuka took a fancy to the skill of laying eggs, and then she looked at Gili Egg curiously. But I saw that Gili Egg had already handed it over with an egg the size of a wash basin. Amazing. Gili Eggs. Shizuka took the egg and praised Gili. Lucky, lucky. Gili Egg is also very happy to be able to help the owner. Then Shizuka started to prepare dinner with the egg and Seiko Akino. Although there is only one egg, the good thing is that the egg is big enough for everyone to eat. Sure enough, as said in the elf picture book, the egg taste of Gili Egg is really delicious. From now on, there will be good luck. At night, Zunai responded to his own words and came to attack Roy at night. When I opened the door of the tent, I found that there were already several girls inside, and Rias was among them. Zunai was stunned when she saw this, but she did not turn around and leave. Ah, aha, it's lively here, then I'm here too. Zunai covered her mouth and chuckled, then walked in and closed the tent door with her backhand. Hey, Zunai has no place for you here. Rias waited for Akino with wide eyes and said angrily. Indeed, Roy's left is Rias and Seiko, and the right is Shizuka and Yuriko. The small tent was already packed to the brim. Alas, isn't this a place? However, Akino didn't give up, and saw that she climbed directly into Roy's arms and looked at Rias next to her proudly. Seeing this, Rias was instantly furious. Hey, I'm so hard. Roy sighed helplessly. The next day, Roy and the girls continued to search for the elf in the wild wilderness area. Because of the elf picture book, several women are in the elf picture book, and choose their favorite elf in the picture book. Next, you only need to search one by one according to the location where the elves appear. Of course, if you meet the right elf, you will not let it go. In just one morning, the three families in the Kanto region had already been found by them. Yuriko subdued the little fire dragon, Nan Lixiang subdued the wonderful frog seeds, and Junyan subdued the Jenny turtle. You must know that the elves of the three families in the Kanto region are very strong, and the three daughters are also very satisfied. Then everyone walked out of the forest, and what appeared in front of them was a huge lake and beach. Wow, it's the beach. It's amazing. Let's go swimming. It would be great if there were umbrellas and deck chairs with a glass of ice juice. Suddenly seeing such a beautiful beach, the girls immediately became excited. It's a wild beach, so no one else is there. The summer is hot and it is the best time to swim. But to enjoy beach swimming, you need some essentials. Roy had to be sent to the town to buy by himself. When he came back, all the girls had already put on their swimsuits and were swimming by the lake. As for their swimsuits, they asked Rias to go to the teleportation array to buy them together. They were embarrassed to ask Roy to buy things like graduation swimsuits. Then Roy and the girls enjoyed the beach together. After frolicking in the water with the girls, Roy went ashore and sipped ice juice under the umbrella. Suddenly he found that Chanel, not far away, was squatting on a rock in a daze. Roy walked over curiously. However, he found that there was a duck duck standing opposite Chanel. The duck is a small elf with the appearance of a platypus. Its body is yellow and its eyes have tiny pupils. The mouth is flat, there are three black dull hairs on the head, and the limbs are short and strong, like a kappa. It has a short tail and webbed feet, and it looks rather cute with its dull appearance. At this moment, one person and one elf stared at each other blankly. It seems that whoever looks away first loses CCAC. Roy couldn't help but burst out laughing while watching. Gah, because of Roy's laughter, Duck Duck and the real judge looked at him at the same time. Cough cough. I'm sorry, you continue, continue. Roy coughed awkwardly. However, Chanel looked at him blankly. That, Chanel, do you like this duck? Roy walked over to Chanel, touched her little head and asked. Hearing this, Chanel nodded after thinking about it. Then let it be your familiar. Hearing his words, Chanel's eyes lit up. 
Then he looked at Da Duck and used contract magic directly. Roy made a contract without asking what he meant by duck. Roy was very helpless. But I didn't expect that Da Duck would agree. Could it be a tacit understanding between the two idiots? Huh, Chennai has actually contracted the elf too. At this time, Chanaway and Butterfly Shinobi also came over. But this little elf looks dull, I wonder if it's powerful. Butterfly looked suspiciously at Da Duck and said. Don't worry, Da Duck is still very powerful. The usual duck is not that great. However, when the headache becomes severe, Da Duck can use powerful moves such as psychic power and petrochemical work. It can be said that it is a very magical fairy. Moreover, the evolved Gotha Duck is very handsome, without the shortcomings of the Duck Duck, it is a very powerful elf. Yeah, nasty. Go away. Just when they were happy that Chanel had caught the familiar. Saya, who was playing by the water not far away, screamed. Roy looked back and saw a huge red carp following behind Saya, who was running away desperately. All the girls could see that the carp did not threaten in the slightest, so they did not help. Instead, he couldn't help laughing at the panic-stricken Saya. Seeing this dramatic scene, Roy also looked at Saya, who was being chased by the carp king, with great interest. That's right, it was a carp king who was chasing after Saya, known as the most useless elf. Because the carp king only has one skill, that is, water splashing, and it has almost no attack power. After being chased for a long time, Saya remembered to run to the shore. Who? Who? You are so embarrassed by your fish, so I don't want to make you into fish soup. Saya panted and gritted his teeth as he looked at the carp that was unwilling to leave in the water. At the same time, the magic bullet in his hand condensed out, and he was about to kill the carp in front of him. Wait, Saya. Roy flashed to Saya's side and stopped Saya's magic bullet. Why are you killing it? Humph. It makes me embarrassed in front of everyone, I must make it into fish soup. Shay snorted, and then said through gritted teeth. I think it's pretty funny. Cough. I don't think it's meant to scare you, but just like you. Accidentally told the truth, Roy quickly changed the subject in embarrassment. I saw the carp king in the water constantly wagging his tail, his head up and down, like a pug that pleases its owner. That looks kinda cute. But. Dot but. Saya was still hesitant to forgive the fish. Otherwise you will subdue him and become a familiar. Roy advised. Hearing his words, Saya was a little moved, and the elf recommended by Roy on the way was really not weak. But this fish doesn't look very strong. Saya still hopes to catch a stronger familiar, after all, she herself is not good at fighting. Well, the carp king is really not strong, it can even be said to be very weak. Roy nodded and agreed with Saya. When Shay heard the words, his face darkened. Feelings, the elves you introduced to them were all powerful elves, but they were so weak when they came to me, and Saya suddenly felt a little aggrieved. Seeing Shay pouting and looking very dissatisfied, Roy didn't continue to tease her. The Carp King is indeed very weak, and doesn't even have much attack power. But, with that said, Roy paused. But what? Shay asked eagerly. But when the Carp King evolves into a tyrannical Carp Dragon, it will become very, very, very powerful. Hearing him say several times in a row is very powerful, She is a little unbelievable. Really? Of course, if you don't believe me, take a look. Having said that, Roy handed over the elf picture book. Saya took the elf picture book and looked at it, and it was exactly as Roy said. When the carp king evolved into a tyrannical carp dragon, it became very powerful, and its combat power was enough to crush most of the elves. However, very few carp kings have successfully evolved into the Tyrannosaurus. The carp king can be said to be one of the most numerous elves in the Pokemon world. However, the Tyrannosaurus Carposaurus is rare, which shows how difficult it is for the carp king to evolve successfully. But once it evolves into a Tyrannosaurus, it is extremely powerful, and the destructive rays from its mouth can burn everything. In ancient times, this terrifying little elf had a record of burning entire cities to scorched earth. With the strength of destroying the city, this is at least the strength of the superior demon. After reading the introduction of King Carp, Saya felt very complicated. On the one hand, he likes a powerful elf like Tyrannosaurus, on the other hand, he worries that the Carp King will fail to evolve. 
Don't hesitate, Shay, I think the potential of this carp king is quite large, it should be able to evolve. Seeing that Saya was slow to make a decision, Roy encouraged him. All right, Shay still believed him. Then Saya used contract magic and successfully took the carp king as a familiar. The carp king, who was accepted as a familiar, seems to be more cheerful and active, using the water splash to roll in the water nonstop. Really, come here soon. Shea waved to the carp king helplessly. When the carp king heard his master's call, he swam over in a flash. The carp king must evolve me into a tyrannical carp dragon. Otherwise, hum. Saya touched the carp king Sunere and said. The carp king seemed to understand her words, and the carp king who was still very lively suddenly became quiet. Then the carp king radiated white light all over his body. This is. Saya looked at the glowing carp king in amazement, and looked at Roy for some unknown reason. It's about to evolve. Roy saw at a glance what was going on with the carp king. Really? Great. When Shea heard the words, he immediately looked at the carp king in the water with surprise. However, the carp king did not appear to have successfully evolved, but the light on his body gradually faded. Oops, this is about to fail in evolution. So what should I do now? Shea asked anxiously. After thinking about it, Roy's eyes lit up and said, Saya try it with your magic. Hearing his words, Saya directly poured magic power into the carp king without saying a word. A miraculous scene happened, as Saya's magic power poured in, the white light on the carp king's body shone brightly. As the light elongated, the carp king successfully evolved into a tyrannical carp dragon. Roar! The newly evolved Tyrannosaurus roared very excitedly. This caused all the other elves around to shiver. Seeing that the carp king successfully evolved into such a mighty and domineering tyrannical carp dragon, Saya was instantly overjoyed. Little carp, come here quickly. She called out excitedly, and even the name was already set. It is said that the violent carp dragon has a very violent temperament. It has a record of running rampant for one month in a row, and it is a very ferocious Pokemon. But under Saya's call, the tyrannical carp dragon obediently lowered its head and became docile. Congratulations, Saya, for catching such a powerful elf. Sister Shea is amazing. Little carp looks so domineering, I really want to ride on it and play. Shizuka and the girls came to congratulate Saya when they saw that Saya had caught such a powerful familiar. Saya's familiar is by far the strongest among them, and the girls are also very envious. Shea this for you. Roy handed a Pokeball over. What is this? Saya and the girls were a little puzzled. This is one of the Pokeballs, the name is Diving Ball. It is a prop used by people in this world to place pixies, and the environment inside the diving ball is very suitable for water-type pixies. After hearing his explanation, the girls understood. After that, Saya used the diving ball, and saw that the huge body with a size of more than 6 meters instantly turned into a white light and entered the diving ball. Impressive. Shizuka screamed. Ha ha. You have some too, four. With that said, Roy gave all the girls a poke ball. It was bought by the way when he was out just now, and it just came in handy now. Next, the girls continued to play on the beach, and Saya specially released the Tyrannosaurus, and with Alice and Kitten, they rode on top of the Tyrannosaurus and played in the water. The day of laughter and laughter passed, and the next day Roy and the girls continued to look for the elf. This time they came to a dense jungle. Pin. As soon as I came to the jungle, I heard a sound like swords colliding. Everyone curiously walked over to take a look, but saw a group of green mantises forming a circle, with two mantises fighting in the middle circle. Their sharp sickles are like swords, and every time they collide, a crisp sound is heard. It's the flying mantis. She took out the elf picture book and scanned the elf, and said in surprise, Wow. It's a very powerful elf. Flying mantis is indeed a good elf. It seems that today is the day when the new and old patriarchs will be replaced. Roy pointed to the two flying mantises in the battle. At this time, the young flying mantis obviously had the upper hand, and the old patriarch was already scarred, and it seemed that he would not last long. Then who is interested in subduing that flying mantis? Roy turned to look at the girls and smiled. Let me do it. Seiko licked his lips and smiled, I like this little elf very much. The flying mantis is a bipedal insect creature. 
There are three separate horns on it, and the forearms are two white scythes used for hunting and fighting. It seems to be born to kill, which is why Psycho likes it. Come on teeth. Come on, sister Yazzie. Be sure to take down this little elf. Come on, Say's daughters cheered for her. At this time, the old patriarch who was heavily wounded in the field had fallen, a new patriarch was born, and all the other flying mantises around him were crawling under its feet. And Seiko's figure flashed, and he came to the new patriarch of the flying mantis. This flying mantis looked at the scorpion in front of him, and the sharp sickle was erected in a fighting stance. Seeing this, Seiko also pulled out the saber on his waist and pointed at the flying mantis, if you lose, be my familiar. Although Fati and Mantis could not understand Seiko's words, in the world of elves, it was a consensus that if they were defeated, they would become the opponent's elves. So the flying Mantis rushed over after Seiko finished speaking. Its speed is as fast as lightning, and the faster one is the sickle on the arms of the flying Mantis. In the blink of an eye, the scythe of the flying Mantis came to Seiko with a terrifying edge. Pin. With a knife in his right hand, Seiko easily blocked the attack of the flying Mantis. Although this flying mantis is very strong, it has at least the strength of an intermediate demon, but it is not Seiko's opponent. After just a few rounds, the flying mantis was defeated. In the end, Seiko successfully contracted the flying mantis. Then the crowd moved on. In this jungle, there are all kinds of elves, and several women have also found their favorite elves. Zunai caught an Eevee, Rias caught a little fire horse, Alice caught a Katy, and Miduzi also caught a six tail. Millie of Ganlu Temple caught an iron-clad rhinoceros, the three little lowly of Butterfly House were the three children who contracted auspicious eggs, and Aoi Kanzaki caught a hairball. The only ones left without the familiar were Roy and Kitten. Roy has a dispensable attitude towards the elf, but he wants to capture Tor and Connor as the familial man. Therefore, he is not interested in elves unless they are divine beasts. Needless to say, Kittens are elf who like cats, but unfortunately I have never encountered them. When it comes to feline elves, the first thing Roy thinks of is Meow. And Meow Meow is usually in the town, so he took the girls back to the town. In a restaurant, Roy and the girls had a delicious lunch together. This is the food belonging to the Pokemon world, and the girls were very happy. Roy, however, noticed Rias's expression of hesitating to speak. What's wrong with you, Rias? Roy asked curiously. Don't you worry about the rating game with Razel, Roy. Hearing this, Roy naturally understood what Rias was worried about. Haha, Rias, don't worry. No matter how long we stay here, it will only be a moment when we go back. Hearing his words, Rias was stunned. Although she felt a little unbelievable, she still believed Roy's words. Then don't worry about it anymore. At this moment, Roy found the kitten, Alice and some little lowly running out. Roy followed curiously and found that Kitten Sauce was feeding a dirty stray cat with some food. This cat has light yellow fur that starts to turn brown at the end and back of the tail, and a shiny oval gold coin is attached to its forehead. Although he was dirty all over, he had an air of perseverance. It's the elf meow that Roy was looking for. It seems that the kitten meow meow is still very fateful, and he met him as soon as he came to the city. Of course, this is Roy's mistake. There are still many stray cats in the city. They often steal food, so they will be hated by people. It seems that the kitten has also found his partner. At this time, Rias also came out, looked at the kitten and smiled. Can I accept it as a familiar? The kitten turned to look at the two and asked. Perhaps thinking of his childhood experiences, the kitten wanted to subdue this stray meow as a familiar. Of course no problem. Rias smiled and nodded. Meow Meow is also a good elf. Roy also added. With the affirmation of the two, the kitten took out the Pokeball and put it in front of Meow Meow. Meow Meow looked at the kitten with determined eyes, and then without hesitation, it turned into a ray of light and got into the Pokeball. After successfully subduing Meow, the kitten showed a smile, and then bowed to Roy. Thank you, Senior Roy. Ha ha. You don't need to thank Kitten Sauce. You caught Meow Meow yourself. Roy stroked the kitten's head. Since everyone has caught the familiar, it's time for us to go back. Back in the restaurant, Roy said to the girls with a smile. Alas, isn't there still Roy who hasn't caught the familiar? Zunai looked at him suspiciously. My words. It doesn't matter. 
Roy waved his hand and said it didn't matter. In my heart, I thought to myself, I am the man who wants to become a dragon knight. Elves are something, since they haven't encountered divine beasts, of course it doesn't matter. No way. Roy Chan caught the elf for all of us, but I didn't catch it myself. Shizuka came over and waved her fingers and said softly. Yeah, how can Roy be the only one without it? Let's continue to look for the elf. Rias also persuaded. Yes, yes. Several other women also joined in. The kindness is difficult, and there is no way Roy has to follow the wishes of the girls and continue to set off to the wild wilderness area to find the elves. This time Roy intends to pick one at random, as long as the elf is pleasing to the eye, after all, it is too difficult to encounter magical animals. In the evening, they camped by a river. The girls were busy preparing dinner. At this moment, a large net came towards the gili egg net who was busy by the river. Without the slightest precaution, the auspicious egg was directly caught by this net. Lucky, lucky, the anxious cry of auspicious eggs came. A. Hey, Shizuka on the side was stunned. Who is it? Seiko reacted fast enough, and instantly saw that someone was going to snatch the auspicious egg. Since you asked sincerely, then we will tell you mercifully. To prevent the world from being destroyed. To protect the peace of the world. To carry out love and true evil. Cute and charming villain. Musashi. Kojura. We are the rockets across the galaxy. White hole, white tomorrow is waiting for us. That's it, meow. After a series of passionate lines, a man, a woman and a meow appeared on the opposite bank. Hearing the familiar line, Roy didn't even have to look to know who was coming. When the other girls heard the rocket's lines, the corners of their eyes twitched, and it was because these lines were too middle of the road. Let go of my auspicious eggs. Shizuka looked at the rocket's trio angrily. It's impossible to let go, auspicious eggs are rare Pokemon. Kojura laughed happily. By the way, can Pikachu over there please give it to us? Musashi pointed at Pikachu in Asia's arms proudly. Do not want. Elsa hugged Pikachu tightly and shook her head in rejection. Humph, if we don't want to, then we can only grab it. Musashi snorted coldly. Gas bomb. Aber snake. The two released the elf at the same time. It's quite slippery. Roy looked at the rocket speechlessly. In the animation, the rocket's trio were funny villains, but they were very arrogant. Let me teach them a lesson. Ganlu Temple M.I. Lee stood up. No need, since it's a world of elves, of course we have to use elves to solve it. Roy stopped Ganlu Temple Millie. Hearing his words, Saya's eyes suddenly lit up. Then he threw the pokey ball and shouted, Go, little carp. What? It's actually a Tyrannosaurus dragon. When Musashi Kojura and Meow Meow saw that it was a violent carp dragon, they hugged each other and shivered in fright. The current strength of the rockets is still very weak, far less powerful in the later stage. At the same time, ABO Snake and Gas Bomb were also trembling with fear. The two elves did not dare to attack when they saw the Tyrannosaurus carp dragon. Because the tyrannical carp dragon itself has the characteristics of intimidation, and the strength of the two is not at the same level. Little carp uses a tornado. Saya pointed to the other side, commanding the tyrannical carp dragon. Roar. The tyrannical carp dragon roared loudly, and then a tornado spit out. I saw the gas bomb and the ABO snake, together with the three rockets, were rolled up into the sky and disappeared. What a disgusting feeling. We'll be back snapped. Hearing the familiar lines again, Roy couldn't help but twitch in the corners of his eyes. Wow, Sister Saya is amazing. Seeing Saya commanding the tyrannical carp dragon, the two of them were sent flying with one move, and Alice and Loli immediately adored them. Ah ha ha, Shay was quite pleased to hear that. As a talented girl, in the past few days, she has learned how to fight in the elf world. But what she wants to complain is, why does the elves have to be commanded by people? Isn't it better to cultivate the elves, self-fighting awareness? Looks like Saya has the talent to become a Pokemon master. Seeing Saya commanding the Tyrannosaurus to deal with the rockets neatly, Roy praised him without hesitation. Humph. Of course. Hearing his compliment, Saya Sunere raised his chin. At this time, M.I. Duzi, who was beside her, seemed to have stepped on something soft. She moved her foot and looked at it, not knowing what it was. Roy noticed M.I. Duzi's movements and walked over. 
This should be the skin of some kind of snake elf shedding. Wrong. She took out the elf picture book and scanned it, and then said in surprise, this is actually the skin of a mini dragon molt. Great. What's up? Butterfly on the side asked with some confusion. Because the mini dragon is a legendary beast. Now Roy's familiar is here. Shay explained excitedly. When they heard that it was actually a divine beast, all the girls were a little happy. Roy is also interested, after all, he still knows the mini dragon. So where will the mini dragon be? Zhu Nai asked curiously. Mini dragons are snake-shaped Pokemon that like to live in lakes and rivers. Saying that, Saya pointed to the river next to him with one hand on his hips and one hand, and said proudly, the mini dragon must still be in this river. Hearing Saya's words, all the girls looked towards the river. But seeing the reason why Saya released the tyrannical carp dragon just now, the entire river was silent, and some elves didn't dare to show their heads at all, not to mention the timid mini dragons. Seeing this, Saya was a little embarrassed. Ha ha. Saya doesn't matter, since you know that the mini dragon is in this river, you can naturally lead it out. Roy smiled confidently. Really? Of course. How to do? This has to be handed over to Shizuka. With that said, Roy looked at Shizuka. Eh, hey, me. Shizuka pointed to herself. Yes, the egg of gilly egg is a food that many Pokemon like to eat, so we can use the food to lure the mini dragon out. Okay, no problem. Shizuka agreed energetically, and then took the auspicious eggs to prepare the food. Let's help too. The girls mobilized one after another, and soon the whole camp was full of fragrance. Many elves smelled this fragrance and ran over to watch with saliva. Mini dragons live mainly by eating what is submerged in water. So Roy threw part of the egg directly into the river after the egg of the auspicious egg was ready. Then, everyone waited for a while but still did not see the mini dragon come out. It looks like the mini dragon has left here. Roy sighed regretfully. Maybe the mini dragon will come out soon. Elsa said innocently. How is this possible? Roy didn't have time to say anything. In the middle of the river, a small blue head emerged from the water. It has purple eyes, a slight white bulge on the forehead, white fins on the sides of its head, and a large round white nose on its face. This cute little guy is a mini dragon. It's a mini dragon. Seeing the mini dragon coming out, Shay was so excited that he almost jumped up, but he kept his voice down, for fear that one would accidentally scare the mini dragon away. Seeing this, Roy didn't force the capture, but quietly put some auspicious eggs on the shore. When the mini dragon smelled this fragrance, his eyes lit up, but he was timid by nature and hesitated when he saw so many people on the shore. And Roy and the others did not take the initiative to see the mini dragon, but ate dinner by themselves. For a long time, the taste of the food still conquered the fear, and the mini dragon slowly swam over. Seeing that no one was paying attention to his mini dragon, he ate it with a small mouthful. After eating, the mini dragon is still a little unfinished. After all, the mini dragon was more than two meters long when it was young. That little bit just now was just enough for it to stick between its teeth. At this time Roy put some more eggs of auspicious eggs beside him. Perhaps it was because they felt that they were not malicious at all, so the mini dragon walked over boldly and ate it. Seeing this, the corners of Roy's mouth couldn't help but twitch. Then Roy kept feeding the mini dragon, and after a meal, the mini dragon already trusted him very much. Even if Roy's feeding is slow, the mini dragon will squat him coquettishly. Then Roy succeeded in subduing the mini dragon and became a familiar. Great, Roy Sauce made it. Seeing that he successfully conquered the mini dragon, Shizuka was even happier than him. Haha, <laughs> since everyone's familiars have been caught, then I announce that this trip to catch the familiars is over, and we will go back tomorrow when we prepare. Hearing the words, the women did not object. The next day, Roy and the girls came to town again. He also needs to buy some elf learning devices. With the learning devices, the elf can learn many other skills. At that time, the power of the elves will become more and more powerful. There are also evolution stones necessary for the evolution of elves, and you also need to buy some. After everything was ready, Roy and the girls returned to the world of High School of Demons, too. High School Demon World, in Rias Manor. Finally back. This trip was really rewarding. Yes, everyone has caught a powerful familiar.
Master Roy is really amazing. As soon as they returned to the manor, all the girls babbled. Everyone released their elf, and now the whole manor became more lively. After playing around for a while, everyone went to rest. After all, they were camping in the wild these days, but they were not as comfortable as sleeping at home. Only Roy and Rius were left in the huge lounge. Rius must have a lot of doubts. Roy drank the tea brewed by Akina and said softly. After all, I went to the world of elves this time, and exposed too many incredible places. But if Roy didn't say anything, the girls wouldn't ask, and that's what Roy believed in them. Well, there are indeed many doubts. Saying that, Rius put down the teacup and sat down beside Roy. He caught his neck with both hands, and his bright eyes looked at him quietly. If Roy has something to say, I'll listen carefully. Looking at Rius who is so considerate, how could Roy hold back her red lips and blocked her? Well, unprepared to be attacked, Rius was stunned, but then jumped in. Just then, a flame appeared in the room. Then a flame magic circle appeared, and the magic circle was like a coat of arms carved with flames. Rius seemed to sense who was coming, and put one hand on Roy's chest and gently pushed it. Of course Roy knew who was coming, it was none other than Razel Phoenix. He doesn't care about that much, he just wants to taste Rius now. With the appearance of the, Magic 423, formation, the lounge was covered with a dazzling fiery red light. The flames rolled up from the magic circle, and the entire lounge was enveloped by a heat wave. Then, a figure came out of the magic circle. Wow, Rius, I'm here to pick you up. The figure who walked out of the magic circle, just said a word, and saw the two people kissing together. Immediately, he only felt that the top of his head was green, his face darkened instantly, and his body gradually became violent. At this time, Roy finally had enough of Rius's taste, and immediately let go of Rius. Rius took a few breaths with a blushing face. Looking at the visitor, he warned. Rizal Phoenix is the territory of the Grimori family. The person who came wearing a red suit with his shirt open very casually, with a sullen look, was none other than Razel Phoenix. Rius, you're a demon noble, how can you mix with this kind of waste? As if what just happened didn't happen. Razel Phoenix recovered his expression and said to Rius with a proud look. Humph, it's not up to you who I'm with. And Roy isn't trash. Rius snorted coldly. Rius, don't forget that I'm your fiancé. This time I'm here to pick you up, let's go back to the underworld with me. Saying that, Razel walked over lightly, reaching out to touch Rius's face. His attitude was as if he regarded Roy next to Rius's heir. Ha ha, I can't pretend I didn't hear the words I may waste. Before Roy finished speaking, the entire fiery room was instantly replaced by icy cold. Then he disappeared in place, appeared in front of Riesel in an instant, and punched him directly in the face. Bump. Razel, who couldn't react in time, was directly punched and flew out. After smashing several walls one after another, it was buried in the rubble. It can be seen that Roy's punch did not hold back at all. Humph. Even my woman dares to move. With a cold snort, Roy returned to the place and settled on Rius's slender waist. Rius was stunned by this domineering look. Looking at Roy's eyes, the tenderness is about to melt him. What happened? What happened? What happened to brother Roy? A group of girls outside the door gathered around because of the movement here. It's okay, it's just an uninvited guest. Roy waved his hand and said indifferently. Boom. At this moment, the ruins that buried Razel exploded. Razel, who was burning with flames, walked out of the ruins. A mere inferior devil, dare to be so presumptuous. I'm going to burn you to ashes here. Razel looked at Roy with a grim look on his face. As the third son of the Phoenix family, one of the 72 demon nobles, he has never been so humiliated. And the other party is just an extra numerary demon that does not belong to the 72 demon gods. With a wave of his hand, with the light of the fire red magic circle, more than a dozen beauties of various shapes appeared behind him. These beauties are Razel's family. Razel, who owns more than a dozen beauties, is the object of envy of most male demons in the underworld. Razel Phoenix, I won't let you mess with me. Rhea stood in front of Roy and said coldly. Humph, if you want to hurt Roy, you have to ask us if we agree. Saya snorted, then took out the poke ball. Come out, little carp. Roar. A ray of light emerged from the pokey ball, 
and a huge tyrannical carp dragon appeared in front of him. The tyrannical aura directly caused several of Razel's lower-level demon girl's relatives to turn pale and tremble with fright. Even the queen of Razel, the superior demon Ubaluna, had a solemn expression on her face. Only Razel was still disdainful in the face of the Tyrannosaurus. Humph, it's just a mere beast. Indeed, although the tyrannical carp dragon is strong, it cannot help the immortal Razel. Just when the arrows were drawn, a silver magic circle appeared in the middle of the two sides. With silver Kelly hair and a maid outfit, the person who came was Roy's older sister, Gurfia. As soon as Gurfia appeared, a powerful momentum erupted, pressing directly towards Razel Phoenix. Several of Razel's lower-level demon family members turned pale from the fear of the tyrannical carp dragon. And this sudden momentum made them slump directly to the ground. Even Razel and his queen, Ubaluna, were shocked by this momentum and had to bow their heads. Seeing this, Roy secretly gave his sister a thumbs up, as expected of a brother protecting madman. Regardless of the reason, he used his power to oppress people, and he felt aggrieved for Razel. He had already punched him in vain, but now he has to endure the real oppression of the demon king, and Razel was so aggrieved that he was about to cry. The third son of the Phoenix family, the Phoenix family and the Grimori family have unanimously decided that Miss Rias's marriage is up to you and Roy's rating game to decide. So, before that, please don't do meaningless things. Grufia said lightly, silver-haired queen of annihilation. Quote. After Rysel recognized the person in front of him, he didn't dare to be presumptuous. After all, the person in front of him was a werewolf who dared to compete with the demon king Seraphle Leviathan for the strongest female demon. You dare to compete with me in a raiding game, hum. Just wait and see, I will make you lose miserably. Razel put down his harsh words, and then teleported away with his family. Although Razel is very arrogant, he is one of the top 10 rookies in raiding game. He has only lost once in his record, and that time he lost the game, because he lost on purpose because he was good at each other. And Roy is a well-known waste material in the underworld, and has never participated in the raiding game. Whether he has any relatives or not is unknown to outsiders. That's why Razel dismissed him. After Riesel left, Grafia looked at Roy and said, follow me. Yes, sister. Roy agreed, motioned for the girls to take a rest, and then left with Grafia. After the two left, the girls immediately started chatting and discussing. Ah, is this the silver-haired queen of annihilation? Roy Chan's sister is so domineering. It's amazing. I don't know what elder sister is going to say to Roy. Not to mention the discussion here. On the other side, Roy followed Rafia to a separate room. The elder sister in front of her is noble and glamorous, but the maid outfit doesn't match. I don't know when it started, but Graphia fell in love with maid outfits. Of course Roy also likes her sister in maid outfit. Roy, there shouldn't be a queen in your family, right? Ah, yes, sister. Roy didn't seem to expect his sister to ask this question, but he explained it honestly. After all, the last time I brought all the girls back to the underworld, I didn't introduce her to the ranks of the girls. Then let your sister be your queen. Rufia looked at Roy and said lightly. What? Roy's eyes widened, seeming to suspect that he had heard it wrong. Although he also thought about making Rufia his queen, he was just thinking about it. He didn't dare to really make this request in front of Rufia. But I didn't expect Rufia to bring it up by herself. Roy immediately agreed excitedly. No problem, sister. After speaking, Roy took out the queen's piece and handed it over. He had envied Razel Phoenix for a long time. Because Razel is not only a family, but all beautiful girls. Moreover, he also included his own younger sister into his family, supplementing the sister attributes in the team. This move is a great feat that many demons are envious of. And Roy is not bad, because he is about to bring his sister into the family, and he is very excited when he thinks about it. Rufia didn't expect Roy to agree so simply. Seeing his excited look, he suddenly felt angry and funny. Afterwards, she took the queen's chess piece and integrated it into her body. Immediately, a powerful momentum erupted, and the entire manor was enveloped by this momentum. The girls and the elves were too shocked to move. And this was just the aura that Rufia unwittingly unleashed. 
Immediately afterwards, another momentum that was not weak appeared, and this momentum soared into the sky. Not even Grafia's aura could be suppressed. This is exactly the momentum that Roy burst out. Because he accepted his elder sister, Grafia, as a dependent, he received feedback on her power. So that Roy's strength is directly promoted from the upper level demon middle level to the demon king level. After a long time, the two men gathered momentum. Grafia was the first to wake up, and she immediately discovered the difference in herself. His own strength has actually become stronger, and he has almost reached the peak of the demon king. If she can break through, then she will become transcendence. You must know that the transcender is at least one level stronger than the devil level. Ordinary queen chess pieces can't make her with demon king level strength so much stronger. Thinking of this, Gurfia looked at her younger brother very curiously, but found that she could no longer see through his strength. This made her even more curious about this younger brother. What the hell is going on here? Grafia still couldn't help but ask out of curiosity. Ah, sister, the chess piece I gave you is a mutant piece I got by chance. Whenever I have an additional family member, my strength can become stronger. Now I also have the strength of a demon king. Roy explained with a smile. He described the pieces given by the system as mutated pieces obtained by chance, so that it would not be abrupt. As for the system, he has not planned to tell anyone for the time being. For this reason, Grafia was also shocked. She had never heard of such a magical and powerful chess piece. And it's also very gratifying that Roy can trust him so much. Although my sister has become my queen, I won't let you play in the raiding game with Razel Phoenix. After all, if my sister is on the court, it will be too bullying. Roy said with a shrug. Of course, Roy knew why her sister Grafia proposed to become her own queen. It was nothing more than worrying that he and Razel would lose the ranking game. Now that his strength has been able to crush Razel, of course, he doesn't need to play Grafia. In fact, even with the strength of an upper level demon at 0.2, Roy is sure to win. Um, Grafia nodded and agreed with him. Now that Roy also has the strength of a demon king, of course she is not worried. No matter how perverted Razel's undead body was, he was only a high level demon, and it was impossible for him to win the demon king. Afterwards, Roy and Grafia returned to the lounge. I saw that the damaged wall had been restored to its original state, which made him have to sigh that magic is really useful. Looking at the girls in the lounge, Roy announced with a smile, I'm going to announce something next. Hearing this, all the girls turned their attention to him. That is, my sister has become my queen. A. Eh? Hearing his words, all the girls were a little stunned. Unexpectedly, the cold and serious Graphia would become Roy's family queen. That's great, I'm sure to win the raiding game with Razel. Elsa looks like she is praying with her hands on her chest. Originally, she was still a little worried about this match, but she finally breathed a sigh of relief. Yeah. My elder sister is no weaker than the demon king, and I can definitely defeat that with roast chicken. Alice this little guy is still very likable, even Grafia likes her very much. No, my sister will not participate in this raiding game. Roy dispelled the delusions of the girls, and said, After all, my sister is a demon king. Isn't it bullying him to play raiding game with Razel? Also, even without my sister, I believe we can easily win the game. Yes. Haven't we been working hard for this all this time, and everyone's strength has become much stronger because of this? Seiko said with a smile. In terms of hard work, Seiko is the hardest one. And her words were recognized by everyone. Humph, I must participate in this raiding game. She shook the poke ball in his hand and looked at Roy confidently. Because according to the rules of raiding game, there can only be one queen, two monks, two knights, two chariots, and eight soldiers, plus Roy, the king. And Roy's monks are Saya, Shizuka, Aisha, Yuriko and Alice. That's why Saya was the first to apply for the battle. She had obtained such a powerful familiar as the Tyrannosaurus, and of course she wanted to show it off. And Shizuka, Aisha and the others obviously didn't realize this problem. When Roy heard what Shea said, he thought about it and nodded, then let Shea play. Hearing this, Shea was instantly overjoyed and decided that he must perform well in this ranking competition. Since Shea brought up the issue of the players, let's determine the players first. 
Looking at the girls, Roy continued, if the chariot is to be used, then Miduzi and Ganlu Temple Millie will play. Don't worry, leave it to us. Miduzi and Ganlu Temple Millie looked at each other, both women were very confident. Because they are Roy's family, the only ones with superior demon strength. If it's a knight, I'll ask Seiko and Chanel. It's fine. Seiko replied with a smile. Chanel nodded as well. If the monks say it, Saya and. After speaking, Roy looked at the four daughters of Asia, Alice, Shizuka and Yuriko. Yuriko's current strength is still very weak, and so is her familiar little fire dragon. So does Alice. In Shizuka's words, healing magic is not very proficient, and her enchantress Gili Egg is not good at fighting. And Aisha has the artifact, the smile of the virgin, which is the most suitable for Naima. Also, Elsa's familiar Pikachu has good fighting power and can protect Elsa. Then the monks will be played by Saya and Aisha. 22 inches is great. Elsa is overjoyed to hear that Roy has finally chosen her. Shay is so cunning. Yuriko pouted and looked at her daughter Saya unwillingly. This guy must have known the rules of raiding game long ago, so he will fight early. Hum. When Shay heard his mother's words, he folded his arms and sighed, and he couldn't hide the proud smile on his face. For the last soldier, Nanrika, Kana Megumi, Butterfly Shinobi, Junyan and Kanzaki Aoi will play. Eight soldiers can play, but Roy can play only a few of them. No problem. Leave it to us. Nan Lixiong shouted excitedly. After this period of training, Nan Lixiong's strength has also improved a lot, and she can't wait to show it. Roy, sir, what about us? At this time, the three little ones in the butterfly house came to him and looked up at him and said in unison. Forehead. Originally, the three little ones in the butterfly house were also soldiers, but these three were too small, so Roy directly ignored them. He touched the little heads of the three little lowly and said, just be responsible for cheering us on. Um. Butterfly house three little hearing his words, nodded obediently and agreed, that look is really cute. I really envy Roy that you can find so many excellent family members. Rias on the side looked at Roy and said beautifully. Roy's family members are not only very strong in strength and potential, but also get along very well with each other. You must know that she has only two family members, Akino and Kitten. And Roy has so many excellent family members in a short period of time, which makes Rias envious. Ha ha ha. Rias don't have to be envious, you will also meet excellent family members. Roy laughed comfortingly. Seeing that Rias was so pitiful, he decided to meet the duo of Xenovia and Wisteria Irina next, and he must help her win. Then, it's time for me to return to the underworld. After playing around for a while, Graphia suddenly proposed to return to the underworld. Huh, don't you want to play for a while, elder sister? Alice and the little lowly, when they heard Gurfia say she was going to leave, gathered around to keep her. Gurfia touched the little heads of the little girls. He smiled and said, originally, the Grimori family and the Phoenix family planned to let me be the judge of this raiding game, but I refused. Now I don't have to worry about it here, so I'm still ready to take over the task of the referee. Saying that, Gurfia looked at Roy and smiled again. Roy, I'm looking forward to your performance. Roy smiled confidently, sister, don't worry. I will definitely perform well. Maybe Roy is getting stronger and stronger, and the smile on Grafia's face is getting bigger and bigger. Hearing his words, Grafia nodded with satisfaction, and then the teleportation array opened and disappeared in front of everyone. The teleportation array here disappeared, and another teleportation array was lit in the lounge. Huh, who is this? Rias looked suspiciously at the location of the teleportation array. The light dissipated, and two figures appeared in front of them. Kana, Sister Kang. Rias and Roy did not expect that the people who came were Sona and Shinra Tsubaki. Ah, I didn't expect President Kang not to come in person. Zunai chuckled lightly, and then went to prepare tea. Kang, who is this time? Rias looked at Kana and asked suspiciously. Of course it's for Rias's engagement. After all, this matter has spread throughout the underworld. Kang Na gave Roy a meaningful look. Feeling dad's gaze, Roy couldn't help but have a headache. Some time ago, he wiped Kana so that he promised to make her his fiance as long as raiding game beat her. Unexpectedly, in just a short time, Roy dared to have a raiding game with Razel for Rias. 
Even Sona was very surprised by Roy's change, and of course he was more jealous. After all, she has been paying attention to this younger brother, and there is that agreement between them. But Sona didn't mention that, but chatted happily with Rias. Roy sat there bored. After chatting for a while, Kang then offered to leave. Dad, sister, I'll send it to you. Roy took the initiative to stand up and said. Of course, it is false to send guests off, and it is true that you want to talk to Dad. Otherwise, Kang Na will send it back directly, where do you need to send it? Kang Na looked at him and nodded, then said to Jen Luo Chunji who was beside him, Chunji, go back first. Yes, President. Jun Luo Chunji agreed and then teleported away. Then Roy and Kana left the manor together. Under the moonlight, the two walked for a walk. Roy didn't know how to exit for a while. You seem to have forgotten our promise. At this time, Kang Na, who was walking in front, took the initiative to speak. After hearing what Dad said, Roy dodged in front of her and retorted, Of course I didn't forget it. Hearing this, Kang Na looked up at him calmly. Then why are you doing a raiding game with Razel Phoenix for Rias? With this question, Roy said helplessly, Well, I can't watch Rias get engaged to that fool, Razel. And what about our agreement? This, Sister Kang Na, don't worry, I will definitely defeat you and make you my fiancé. Hearing this, Kang Na finally understood. Her little brother was so greedy, he actually wanted to have it all. It's so greedy, I regret it. What? Roy panicked in his heart, thinking that Kang Na was repenting, defeating her in the raiding game and becoming his fiancé. Just as he was about to speak, Kang Na was the first to speak. I regret it, unless you can defeat my sister, I will not promise to be your fiancé. Kang Na pushed his glasses and said slowly. Hearing this, Roy was stunned for a moment, then looked at Kana strangely. Isn't this condition the same as no? Originally, if Roy wanted to win Kana's attention, he had to pass her sister Seraflu Leviathan, which was something he was prepared to face. After all, the entire underworld knows about Seraflu Leviathan's sister control attributes. Don't worry, come on. Dad, sister, even the demon king can't hinder my determination. Roy patted his chest and assured. In my heart, I thought, when the time comes, if you even beat your sister together, can you buy one get one free? Kang Na was a little moved when she heard the words, because she didn't know Roy's strength at this time, she thought he was still an intermediate demon strength. Because she dared to challenge the demon king, Kang Na finally had a smile when she thought of this. Looking at dad's little face, in this romantic moonlight, Roy can be so indifferent. He hugged dad and kissed him. Two days passed easily, Roy and the others did not train these two days, but had a good rest. Early in the morning, at this time, in the subspace modeled by the Scissor King College. Roy and a group of dependent girls, appear in the supernatural department. And at the moment when several people appeared, Grafia's voice sounded in the sky. Everyone, I am the referee of this Roy Lucifergus and Razel Phoenix rating game, Grafia Lucifergus. This rating game is based on the opinions of both parties, and the subspace with Kuo College as the template is used as the battlefield. In the venue of the Underworld Rating Game, you can watch the entire Rating Game game on the big screen in this venue. At this time, the venue was already crowded with people. Oh. Dot the referee is actually the silver-haired queen of Annihilation. My lady queen is amazing. Hearing Grafia's voice, the audience immediately burst into enthusiasm. It can be seen that Grafia is still very popular in the Underworld. One of the players in this competition seems to be Grafia's younger brother. Wouldn't it be unfair to let Gurfia be the referee? Isn't Gurfia's younger brother a well-known waste material in the underworld? It is said that he is still a low-level demon, which is a real shame for the family. The mere low-level demon dares to challenge Razel Phoenix, I don't know where he got the courage. It's just. Some demon nobles in the underworld, I heard that Roy challenged Razel, all came for the purpose of watching the play. In their eyes, it was impossible for Roy to defeat Razel. Only a few demon kings and other people at the scene could see Roy's strength. The person Rias saw was very interesting. Sir Jax Lucifer looked at Roy and the rest of his family with interest. As Rias, older brother, he still cares about Rias after all. And Roy, of course, he knew, of course, the Roy in his impression was still in the past. 
but he didn't expect that Roy's strength would grow so terrifying just after not seeing him for a while. At this moment Sir Jax also recognized Roy. Is this person the man who is very close to Kana Chan? It seems that we need to take a good look at it. On the other side, Sona's older sister, Demon Lord Serifuru Leviathan, also looked at Roy. For her, Roy is 427 mysterious guys, even she can't see the strength. This is also normal, after all, the two are the same strength as Demon Kings. After a while, Grafia's voice sounded again. The location where the two sides transmit is their respective base camps. Roy Lucifergus' home base is the Occult Studies Department of the Old School Building, and Razel Phoenix's home base is the Principal's Office of the New School Building. So the upgrade of the soldier will be effective after entering the opponent's base camp. Soldier upgrade. Hearing that the soldiers were upgraded, Junyan was a little puzzled. Soldier upgrade means that after the soldier rank reaches the opponent's base camp, his own strength can be upgraded to the strongest queen level. Roy explained aloud. Hearing his words, Nan Lixiong and the others suddenly lit up. If they can be upgraded to queens, even higher level demons may not be able to fight. The time of the game is until the dawn of the human world, then, the game begins. Yo-yo. The school bell rang, which signaled the start of the game. Roy, what should we do? In the paranormal research department, Seiko licked his lips and asked, the excitement on his face could not be concealed. Roy thought for a while, and felt that there was no need to arrange any tactics, so he just got into the regiment. He was just about to say that, but Saya answered, it's up to me to arrange tactics like this, let me have a talented and beautiful girl. Looking at the way Roy was thinking, it was Saya's understanding of him. She knew what he was going to say, so she took the initiative to take over the task. Hearing this, Roy nodded and said, then let Saya arrange the tactics. Anyway, it's a crushing game, and it's not bad to let Saya play. Hearing his words, all the girls turned their attention to Saya. Cough. My tactics are like this. I divided the entire battlefield into three routes, so that it is easy to allocate manpower. Saying that, Saya took out the prepared map. The three clearly visible routes on the map were marked, as simple and clear as Summoner's Canyon, so that the girls could understand at a glance. First of all, Let's go to Rukanae, Butterfly Ninja, and Nanrika. Me and Shaokui in the middle, and the assistant Aisha. Shaokui's hairball has radar skills and can detect enemies at any time. Chinaihu, Junyan, Seiko go down. The last jungler will be held by M.I. Duzi and M.I. Lee, your mission is to support the other three at any time. I have collected information on Razel Phoenix, and the only one who can pose a threat to us is his queen, Ubaluna. As long as she dares to appear, she will immediately be attacked by M.I. Duzi and Sister M.I. Lee. This is my tactic. Clap clap clap. Hearing Saya's tactics, Roy couldn't help but applaud. As expected of Saya. Awesome. He didn't expect that Shay arranged it so well, and he actually used the routine in the game, which was simple and easy to understand. He really wanted to ask Shay, have you ever played League? The strength of the three root arrangements is almost the same, if they are advanced at the same time. Don't worry about being entered into your base camp by the enemy's soldiers. And with Miduzi and Millie to support at any time, it can be said to be foolproof. Even if she encounters Razel's queen, Ubeluna, she can handle it calmly. Hearing Roy's compliment, Saya raised his delicate chin proudly. The other girls also looked at Saya in admiration. Everyone, please bring this. At this time, Roy took out the little finger-sized light ball and handed it to everyone. This is. Ganlu Temple M.I. Lee took the light group and looked at it curiously. This is a device for communication. You only need to wear it in your ear to make long-distance calls. Sayer took a ball of light and stuffed it into his ear, and then explained to everyone. It seems that Saya understands the function of this light group very well. That's right. That's it. Roy smiled and nodded. Hearing this, all the women brought their communication equipment with them. Then without further ado, let's start according to Saya's tactics. Yes. The girls answered in unison. Then Roy and the girls set off together. That's right, Roy wasn't going to wait at base camp. Anyway, the opposing soldiers could not cross their line of defense and enter their base camp. Pushing it directly is what he wants. Kang Na, who is watching the battle at this time, 
frowned when he saw that Roy was going to come out in full force. In her opinion, being so reckless is not a good thing. And Rias had no opinion on Roy and their tactics, but she knew the strength of Roy and Seiko. After leaving the old school building, they divided into three groups. Roy chose to be with Saya and the others. After all, the three of them, Shay, seemed to be the weakest of the three. However, if the enemy dared to underestimate them, they would definitely suffer a great loss. Because Saya is a tyrannical carp dragon with superior demon strength. The three lanes are advancing rapidly, and the first to encounter the enemy is the bottom lane. There is a situation. There are three enemies in the bottom road. The elf hairball was the first to discover the trace of the enemy, and Kanzaki Aoi hurriedly communicated to everyone on the communication device. When the three girls, Chana Wei, Junyan, and Seiko, who were on the road, heard the words, they suddenly became alert. Ha 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 ha. How dare you show up so blatantly, you really don't take us seriously. Stupid. You have fallen into our trap. Let them taste our greatness. As three voices appeared, three figures jumped out. Appearing in front of them were three of Razel's soldiers, Julia, Mario, and Brent. As soon as the three of them finished speaking, they saw Chana, Ma, and Seiko all around them. A red magic circle appeared to surround them, and the magic circle exuded an aura of destruction. Ha ha ha, this is the explosion magic set up by her lady queen, you can announce your exit. The three girls arrogantly looked at the three people, Chanel, Junyan, and Seiko, who were trapped in the magic circle. The next moment, the magic circle was red and generous, and it exploded in an instant. Boom boom boom. Billowing smoke and dust filled the entire venue, making it difficult to see what was inside. Off the field. Oops, I fell into Ubaluna's trap. Kang Na frowned and looked at the field shrouded by the explosion, she was clear about Ubeluna's strength. I think they shouldn't be hit by such an attack. Gen Luo Chunji on the side pushed her glasses and said. Because Gurfia did not announce that anyone would leave the stage, Shinra Tsubaki guessed that they were not defeated. Of course Seiko and the others couldn't be defeated just like that, it was just a trap set by Ubaluna. If it is a lower level demon, it is very likely to be seriously injured. But Kanaihu, Junyan, Seiko, they are all intermediate demons without exception. Although these explosion magics are strong, they can't help them. I saw the smoke and dust dissipated in the field, and it was amazing that the three girls stood there intact. What? No injuries at all. How can it be? When Leah, Mario and Brent saw the three intact, their eyes widened immediately, looking like they couldn't believe it. Too weak. Seiko felt the strength of the three girls, and immediately shook his head boringly. What she longed for was to fight against the strong, not the trash fish of the three inferior demons in front of her. Then Sanko moved, and his body was as fast as lightning. In the blink of an eye, he appeared in front of Leah, Mario and Brent. The light of the knife flashed past, and then the knife was sheathed. Okay, fast. How come? Before the three women's words of astonishment were finished, they collapsed with a thud and disappeared into a light spot. Because they were seriously injured, they were teleported out of another dimension. Three of Razel Phoenix's soldiers have been defeated. At this moment, Griffia's majestic voice came from above. Great, okay, the plan worked. Saya clapped his palms excitedly. Sister duo is amazing, Aisha also said happily. Hee hee, there are only three lower level demon soldiers here. Seiko, who won three kills, felt quite boring. On the road, four enemies are approaching. 100 meters in front of you. At this time, Kanzaki Aoi's hairball found the enemy again. Is it our side, it's not so boring after all. Nanrika took out the spear of light with a warlike expression on her face. Then the three quickly rushed towards the enemy's direction, without any intention of concealing their stature. Inside the school's huge gymnasium. Don't hide, I know you're here. The servants of the Lucifergus family. As soon as the three of Nan Lixiong entered the stadium, a voice came. The two sides meet formally. At the very front was a girl dressed like Chun Li, her name was Shui Lan, and she was a chariot rank. The girl with blue hair behind her, dressed in red, holding a wooden stick in her hand is called Mira, who is a soldier's rank. In the original book, the girl who killed Hyoto Issei in one blow at the first meeting. The remaining two twins, Little Loli, named Nailu and Iru, are also soldiers. 
Nan Lixiong recognized the other party in an instant, thanks to the information Zunai prepared. Of course, in the underworld, it's no secret that Razel Phoenix's family is there. Humph. You don't need to hide yet. Nan Lixiong was disdainful. It turned out to be three soldiers. Shui Lan put her hands on her hips and proudly introduced herself. I am a chariot, Shui Lan. I am Mira, and my attributes are soldiers. I am a soldier, Yimin. The same soldier, Nailu. Oh, are you still going to introduce yourself? Nan Lixiong looked at them in surprise, and then smiled again. In that case, my name is Nan Lixiong, and my attribute is a soldier. Butterfly Ninja, Soldier. Butterfly Chanel Megumi, Soldier. The two Butterfly sisters also introduced themselves. Okay, stop talking nonsense. Nan Lixiong waved his hand, and then confidently said to the Butterfly sisters, the chariot will be handed over to me. Then I'll choose that soldier. Butterfly Chanel looked at Mira with a smile. Send, do you want me to bully two children? Butterfly looked helplessly at the remaining two little Loli, Nilu and Iru. Then, come on. Saying that, Nan Lixiong rushed out first. Seeing this, the two Butterfly sisters looked at each other helplessly, and then rushed out. Each of the three faced their opponents. Butterfly Ninja's opponents Nilu and Iru were only the strength of the lower level demons, and the Butterfly Ninja, who is at the peak of the middle level demons, can't touch her at all. Butterfly is playful, teasing the two little lowly with ghostly speed. Chana Wei is facing Mira, who has the strength to enter the middle level demon. But facing Chanel Megumi is not enough to see. However, Chana Wei obviously did not intend to solve the battle quickly, but reduced her strength to fight with Mira. In the end, it was the battle between Nan Lixiong and Shui Lan. The strengths of the two were almost the same. As a chariot, Shenren is very powerful in defense and strength. Although Nan Lixiong was no match for Shui Lan in defense and strength, the spear of light in his hand was extremely sharp. It made Shui Lan so terrified that she didn't dare to confront him. For a while, Shui Lan fell into a disadvantage under Nan Lixiong's suppression. The two fought for a few rounds. It's time to end the fight. Nan Lixiong suddenly stopped the offensive and looked at the somewhat embarrassed Shui Lan with excitement. Humph, I will not lose. Shirley snorted coldly. Hearing this, the corners of Nan Lixiong's mouth twitched slightly. The gun of light in his hand turned, and then inserted into the holster. She saw that she was holding the Sword of Light in both hands, looking at Shui Lan calmly. Breath of the Wind Claw of the Second Form Kohu.com With a low voice, Nan Lixiong swung four claw-shaped wind blades forward, with enough power to cut off the enemy's blade. What? Facing such an attack, Shui Lan was obviously stunned for a moment. Seeing this wind blade attacked, he had no choice but to use his arms to block in front of him. Wow, this, spit. Ah. Shui Lan screamed, blood shot in, after blocking the four claws and wind blades. Her arms were already bloody, and it was obvious that she was no longer able to fight. Then Shen Lan was teleported out of the other dimension. The two butterfly sisters saw that Nan Lixiong had solved the opponent's chariot and stopped playing, so they quickly solved the opponent. Three soldiers and a chariot of Razel Phoenix have been destroyed. In the sky, Rufia's majestic voice came again. Hearing this voice, Roy suddenly cheered. On the other hand, Razel Phoenix was not so happy. His family members were defeated one after another, but the other party lost none of them. But Razel said disdainfully, you don't think you'll win like this, do you? I'm Razel Phoenix. Then he turned to look at Ubeluna beside him, you all go. Let them see the power of Phoenix. Yes, Ubeluna and the rest of her relatives agreed, and then stepped out. On Roy's side, the communication equipment was full of laughter. Saya's plan is really awesome. Asia looked at Saya admiringly. Easy to win the opponent's seven dependents, Saya performed well. Roy also praised without hesitation. The other women were also praising Saya on the communication device. Ah ha ha. It's nothing, it's just that the opponent is weaker. She was a little embarrassed by the praise, and quickly waved his hand. The group continued to move forward. Air soldier, air soldier. At this moment, Furball, who was walking in front of Kanzaki Aoi, suddenly turned around and called her a few times. With the familiar contract, Kanzaki Aoi instantly understood the meaning of the hairball. Then she turned to Roy and said, 
Master Roy, Mao Chu found that there were enemies approaching in front of him, and the number was eight. Hey, eight, it seems that Razel sent all his followers. There were fifteen relatives of Razel, seven of them were resolved, and all the rest were sent over. It seems that Riesel should want to deal with the Roy four first. After all, they have two supports here, and a Roy who is known as a waste. The only one worth noting is Saya's familiar. But Razel even sent Ubaluna over, proving that the other party already had a solution to the familiar. As they spoke, Razel's family members had already appeared in front of them. I am the knight who serves Lord Razel, Karamane, let's fight in an upright manner. The one who jumped out first was a woman with a long sword, the knight of Razel. Seeing this, Kanzaki Aoi took the initiative to greet him. I am the soldier serving Lord Roy, Kanzaki Aoi, I accept your challenge. Kanzaki Aoi was a ghost killer who passed the final test. Unfortunately, because of cowardice, he stayed in the butterfly house to become a medical staff. But after turning into a demon, he has the strength of an intermediate demon, and his timidity has improved a lot. Facing Karamane, who was also an intermediate demon, she did not flinch. Well said, soldier of Lucifergus. Seeing that Kanzaki Aoi took the initiative to stand up, Karamane looked at her with admiration, and then rushed up with a loud shout. And Kanzaki Aoi also took the initiative to meet him. Clang clang, bang bang bang, both of them are master swordsmen, and they collided in the blink of an eye. Karamane is really, swords and swords are in his mind. When you decide to sacrifice a chess piece, you still don't want to, that's enough. At this time, a young girl walked out with helpless thoughts. The girl was wearing a Lolita princess dress, with golden spring-like double ponytails, and her delicate little face was a little arrogant. It was Rachel's sister, Revel Phoenix. I saw Ravel glanced at Roy and said, it's rare to be a handsome guy. It's a pity that he is a waste. It seems that Miss Rias has a really bad eye for men. Saya and Aisha immediately glared when they heard Ravel's words. It's pretty good looking, but the mouth is good, it's poisonous. Shay sneered disdainfully with his arms folded. Then he said, listen to what you mean, the seven people who have been eliminated are your bait. Ha ha ha, it seems that you are not stupid. That's right, the seven of them are the bait to distract you from fighting. Now as long as you get rid of you, then we will win. Ravel said quite proudly. It seems that this plan was proposed by her, because Roy and the others did not hide the reason at all. Therefore, the seven people that Razel was defeated from the beginning were the bait that the other party released. However, when he heard Ravel's words, Roy didn't feel cheated, and even felt a little funny. When Kanzaki Aoi told everyone that the remaining eight people from the enemy were all coming towards them. The three of Nan Lixiong on the top road, the three people from Yazi on the bottom road, and Duzi Mi and Mi Li from the jungle were already surrounded. The entire Kuo Academy is not very big, they can feel it within a minute. Even Mi Duzi and Mi Li were even faster. At that time, an encirclement will be formed, and Razel's followers will not be able to escape. She handed it over to you. With that said, Roy pulled Elsa to the side. No problem. Shay agreed, this was what she wanted to do. Then she looked at Levy and said, if you want to solve us, then come. Little carp, come out to work. The corners of Saya's mouth were slightly upturned, and she saw that she took out the pokey ball, and a golden light shone out from the pokey ball. Roar. A huge Tyrannosaurus appeared in the field. The tyrannical aura raged on the spot, and the other girls who had seen the tyrannical carp dragon suddenly felt their feet go soft for a while. Lei Weyer, who had never seen the tyrannical carp dragon, was so frightened that her face turned pale. Etc, etc. I'm not going to fight. Ravel, who was frightened, waved his hand hastily. Such a terrifying familiar, she didn't want to fight with each other. Humph, I don't care, the little carp will go to me and use the water cannon. Sayaka didn't care whether Lei Weyer participated in the battle or not, she pointed to the opponent and gave orders to the tyrannical carp dragon. The tyrannical carp dragon heard the master's order, and suddenly roared, and then a huge water column spit out from its mouth. The water column was like a monstrous flood, spraying unstoppably towards Ravel and the others. Seeing this, Isabella's family members instantly stood in front of Levy. But in the face of such a violent water column impact, even they are not sure they can stop it. 
Fortunately, at a critical moment, Ubaluna waved her staff, and a huge red magic circle appeared in front of them. Then a red beam of destruction magic beam shot out, meeting the water cannon of the Tyrannosaurus carp dragon. Boom! The water cannon and destruction magic collided, causing a huge explosion. The whole place is misty. After a while, the mist dissipated. I saw that a large crater with a diameter of more than 10 meters appeared in the center of the explosion. Such astonishing destructive power made Razel's family turn pale with fright when they saw this. They, who were already very afraid of the Tyrannosaurus carp dragon, were even more afraid. Kanzaki Aoi and Kara Main, who were fighting on the side, were also forced to stop. However, Saya frowned a little when she saw this, but she knew that the water cannon of the tyrannical carp dragon was so powerful that even a small hill could be leveled. But he was easily stopped by the opponent. She is indeed the queen of Razel. Saya looked at Ubaluna with some seriousness, thinking about what to do next. It is impossible to let the tyrannical carp dragon rush over to melee combat, there are many opponents, and if the tyrannical carp dragon is dragged, Saya himself will be in danger. Although there is Roy behind her, Saya wants to perform well, how can Roy be allowed to shoot? Now it seems that only more powerful moves are used. You can only win if you seize the opportunity, otherwise God knows what magic the other queen will use. Little Carp, use the destruction light. She gave the order decisively. Originally, the tyrannical Carp dragon had just evolved, and it did not learn to destroy the powerful move of death light. But there are learning machines brought back from the Pokemon world. So the tyrannical carp dragon learned the powerful skill of destroying the death light in advance. I saw the violent carp dragon roared, and then an energy light ball was accumulated in its mouth, and the energy ball slowly became larger, and the next moment spit it out. A beam of light that destroyed everything shot towards the opposite side, and Levy and the girls suddenly felt that death was coming. This powerful destructive move, if hit from the front. It is very likely that they will die directly, and even the teleportation function of different dimensions will not have time to teleport them out. Fortunately, Ubeluna reacted, and she cast the explosion magic 430 with all her strength. A huge magic circle appeared, and a red beam of destructive light collided with the destructive death light of the tyrannical carp dragon. Blast magic versus destruction death light. Both are extremely destructive moves. Just like facing the waves in the Dragon Ball, I saw two energy beams stalemate in the air. The next moment, Destruction Death Light shattered the explosion magic and continued to shoot at Ubaluna and the others. Boom! Another shocking explosion. Except for Karamane, the rest of Riesel's retinue was enveloped by the explosion that destroyed the Death Light. After a long time, the smoke dissipated. I saw a large crater with a diameter of tens of meters appeared again in the place that was bombarded by the destruction and death light. In the pit, there were only two daughters, Ubeluna and Luir, who were all tattered and looked rather embarrassed. The rest of the girls didn't see it, and it seemed that they had already left the stage. Really? Kama, a chariot, a knight, a monk, and two soldiers of Razel Phoenix exit. Grafia's majestic voice resounded in the sky again. Unexpectedly, under the destruction and death of the tyrannical carp dragon, five of Razel's family members directly exited the stage. It can be seen that the power of destroying the death light is powerful. At the last moment, thanks to Ubaluna's full use of magic defense, although it did not completely block the destruction of death. But it also greatly weakened the power of destroying the death light, so the five people who exited the stage were not serious. If it wasn't for the fact that Ubaluna herself was a high-level demon, even she would retire under the destructive death light. And Lei Wei'er has the body of immortality, and has not been eliminated. The flames of the phoenix rose up on her body, but her injuries were fully recovered in the blink of an eye, but her little face was still pale. How can it be? Aside, Karame looked at Ubeluna in the deep pit with a shocked expression. You must know that Ubeluna is the most powerful of their relatives. Unexpectedly, even she did not completely block the attack of the terrifying demon. If it wasn't for herself and the opponent's soldiers fighting by the side, she would never doubt that she would withdraw. Okay, amazing. Kanzaki Aoi was stunned to see the damage caused by the tyrannical carp dragon. Little carp is too powerful. Aisha opened her mouth wide and was stunned by the destructive power. But Roy was not surprised at all, 
Despite the lack of expressiveness in the anime, the destructive power of elves is actually very strong. The legend of the Tyrannosaur in ancient times is not just a legend, the Tyrannosaur really has the power to destroy the town. Outside World The venue of the Underworld Raiding Game Many demons were shocked by the powerful destructive power of the tyrannical carp dragon, and there was a lot of discussion for a while. The dragon species that I have never seen before, it seems that it is not the dragon of the Dragon Valley. Demon King Sir Jax Lucifer glanced curiously at the demon dragon Saint Tenny next to him and said. It really isn't the dragon of the Dragon Valley, it should be said that it is not any kind of dragon known. The demon dragon Saint Tenny used his huge claws to touch his chin and replied. The demon dragon Saint Tenny is one of the original six dragon kings. Later, he voluntarily reincarnated into a demon and took the place where Dragon Apple grew up in the underworld as his own territory. There are many dragons in its territory, and he knows nothing about dragons. On the other hand, Kang Na was also very shocked by the power of the Tyrannosaurus carp dragon, but he was more curious. I don't know where Roy got this unprecedented familiar from. Thinking of this, Kana asked Rius curiously, Rius, you should know where Roy's familiars were captured, right? Hearing this, Rius smiled, then shook her head and said, if Kang Na wants to know, go and ask Roy. She wouldn't tell Roy's secret. Hearing Rius's words, Kang Na could only helplessly put his eyes on Roy in the field. In my heart, I became more and more curious about this younger brother. In the field, Miduzi and Ganlu Temple Millie suddenly appeared beside Roy, and then Seiko and the others rushed over. The girls were stunned when they looked at the ground destroyed by the Tyrannosaurus Carp Dragon, whose power exceeded their expectations. Even if Miduzi Ganlu Temple and Millie erupted with all their strength, they would not be able to cause such destruction. Ah, that's amazing. If I read it right, you should be a monk. Ubeluna, who was in the deep pit, stood up with her severely injured body. She raised her head to look at Saya, but she did not look down, as if victory was still under her control. Seeing this, Shea frowned and said, I'm a monk. Yes, you're seriously injured now and have no fighting ability, so admit defeat. Ha ha ha. Hearing Saya's words, Ubaluna couldn't help but burst into laughter. I am the queen of Lord Razel. After finishing speaking, Ubaluna took out a small red bottle from her chest, and a red liquid-like flame was flowing in it. After that, Ubaluna opened the lid and drank it without hesitation. The next moment, I saw that the injuries on Ubaluna's body were recovering at a speed visible to the naked eye. The momentum also returned to its peak, and with just the blink of an eye, Ubaluna returned to her peak state, as if she was not injured at all. Hey, hey, is it still possible to take drugs in the game? This is too shameless. Saya looked at Ubaluna, who didn't seem to be injured at all, and was a little stunned. It was too shameful to take drugs or something. Humph. This is the tears of Phoenix. Any injury can be healed in an instant. It is the secret treasure of our family. You can only use no more than two bottles in the game. With the wings of flame burning, Lei Weyer flew in the air, and proudly told everyone about it. How can there be such a thing? It's a foul. Nan Lixiong said a little indignantly. CCAC, humph. Don't you still have, smile of the virgin? Rachel retorted again. Hearing this, Nan Lixiong was suddenly speechless. Aisha participated in the game as a monk, how could it be compared with a prop, but Nanrika didn't bother to argue with her. You don't think you can win if you recover from your injuries. You are surrounded by us. Saya looked at the other two disdainfully with his arms folded. She knew that the scale of victory had always been on their side, so she didn't care about the opponent's means. Ah. Your familiar should not be able to unleash the attack just now. Ubeluna sneered. Hearing this, Saya looked at the tyrannical carp dragon. The tyrannical carp dragon just forced out a high level move, destroy the death light, and is now a little tired. It seems that in a short period of time, it is indeed impossible to release the destruction and death light. Yes so what? Saya still looked fearless. Because even if the carp dragon can't fight, there are still two people, Miduzi and Ganlu Temple Millie. The fighting power that the two of them erupted was not weaker than that of the higher level demons. There is a big gap between the strengths of the intermediate demons and the superior demons, which is also the reason why Ubaluna has a chance to win. In her opinion, Roy's side is apart from the Tyrannosaurus. 
The others are only intermediate demon strengths, and she is confident that she can easily deal with them. I saw Ubaluna sneered without answering, and slowly flew into the air. Taste my explosion magic. As soon as she waved her hand, the sky was suddenly filled with red magic circles of all sizes, and the aura of its destruction made one's heart palpitate. Ubeluna actually wanted to deal with all of Roy and the others in one move. Seeing this, Roy couldn't help but curl his lips slightly, and said softly, Miduzi, Millie, come on. Roy had no intention of attacking, and facing the full blow of Ubaluna, only the two of them could calmly deal with it. Yes, X2. The two women agreed, and then unfolded their demon wings at the same time. Ghosting. Miduzi drank lightly. I saw a petite bean, and instantly grew up and became a tall Oni-san. The original clothes were a little small, and they were tightly tied to the body, but they also showed a plump figure. And a complete ghost horn grows on her forehead, and there are weeping willow-like lines all over her body. These lines are not only not ugly, but have a strange beauty. The completely ghosted M.I. Duzi already possesses the strength of a superior demon. On the other side, Ganlu Temple Millie didn't show weakness at all, and only saw her drank lightly, and the stripes were already turned on. At the position of her left neck, a pink heart-shaped texture appears, at this time, the markings behind the markings are turned on. After the honey glass pattern of Ganlu Temple was turned on, his physical fitness was greatly improved, and he also possessed superior demon strength. Ubeluna in the sky saw the aura of the two girls bursting out, and her face suddenly became solemn. Originally, she thought that the other party only had the familiar that could pose a threat to her. But I didn't expect the other side to have two superior demons again. Now it's hard to do. Originally, Baluna's plan was to deal with the other party's familiars first, and then rely on the tears of Phoenix to restore her strength and deal with the rest. Who would have thought of the strength of Roy's side, completely beyond her expectations? Now that she has been riding a tiger, she can only bite the bullet. Seeing M.I. Duzi and Ganlu Temple M.I. Li rushing up, Ubeluna waved her hand. All the magic circles erupted with red burst fireballs, smashing towards the two of them. Boom. In an instant, the sky was fiery red, and smoke lingered. However, according to the law of no harm with smoke, an explosion of this magnitude could not help the two of them. Ha <laughs> ha. Sure enough, Duzimi and Ganlu Temple Mili rushed out of the smoke. I saw that the two of them were just a little messy, and they didn't look injured. Miduzi's resilience is so strong that even if injured, he can recover in an instant. Moreover, as a chariot rank, her own defense is very strong. And Ganlu Temple M.I. Li's physical defense is a bit too strong, not to mention the integration of chariot and chess pieces. Adding the two together, her defense can be said to be terrifyingly strong. The next moment, the two rushed in front of Ubeluna. Blood Ghost Art, Blast Blood. Breath of Love Five Types of Uncertain Love Chaos. Miduzi and Ganlu Temple Mili shot at the same time. I saw M.I. Duzi's fist punched with blood red flames. And Ganlu Temple M.I. Li is shaking the blade, making continuous continuous slashes. In the face of the two swift attacks, Ubaluna only had time to hold up the defensive magic circle. However, it was useless, the defensive magic was shattered in an instant. Then M.I. Duzi's fist fell on her body, and the blood ghost technique burned on her body like a flame. At the same time, the slash of Ganlu Temple M.I. Li also landed on her, instantly severing several scars. Ubeluna didn't expect the two of them to attack so violently, and in an instant, a meteor fell and smashed to the ground, splashing billowing smoke. The Queen, Ubeluna. When Karamane and Levi saw that Ubeluna was shot down, they exclaimed, the two girls never thought that such a powerful Ubaluna would be instantly defeated. The Queen of Razel Phoenix is out. Graphia's voice rang in everyone's ears. As soon as the voice fell, it fell to the ground, and the already unconscious Ubaluna turned into a little starlight and was teleported out. Ubaluna, who possessed superior demon strength, was instantly killed under the combined force of M.I. Duzi and M.I. Li. Millie is really amazing. Butterfly Ren was a little surprised. Originally, when he was in the ghost-killing team, Ganlu Temple Millie was very powerful among several pillars, much more powerful than Butterfly Ninja. And after turning to the devil, the gap is even bigger. Miduzi is also very good. 
Chanel Megumi admires M.I. Duzi, but she is more powerful than them at such a young age. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.